There's nothing nicer than forget a warm toilet this, seat. I'll never forget this one time. I went into a flying J and like, <laughs> oh, dude, you never flying J is the worst. Flying the J is what we yeah. call it. Flying the J. So. I got, <laughs> Welcome to episode 24 of the DM Monday podcast. Trey Lewis here with my co-hosts, Matt Burrill and Trey Bonner. Um, thank you all for being here today. Thank you all for being a part of our lives as we talk about it. If you want to support the podcast, go to the website, treylewismusic.com. Buy some merch, you know, whatever. Share some music, you know, all that good stuff. We appreciate y'all. We love y'all. It's been a hell of a year. The, uh, the end of the year special. Um, yeah, this year was a... Hell of a year, man. Got all over the place. I love the new decorations in here too. I wasn't here like for that. the for the Christmas yeah. special, but love the leg lamp. Love Uncle Bob up there. Love the decanter. Have you watched the the no, Christmas special? I don't think no. I can stomach it, dude. Dude, it's hilarious. No, I've I've heard nothing but good it's things good. about it. I haven't had a chance to check it out. Alex There's told a lot me of dead like, time because me and other are like laughing and like my whole face is red from laughing. Yeah, it's, I don't think I can stomach it. The new kicks look fresh. Thanks, dude. On clouds, baby. They're the most comfortable shoes I've ever had. I oh, flexing shoes. I got See, new, I'm kind of jealous of yours, though, because yours don't have shoelaces. Yeah. Do, they stay pretty tight or what? Yeah, yeah, they stay tight. I don't fuck with shoelaces, dude. I got some new Vans. I'm about to put I the no that's tie what I there. ordered, but I guess not. I really, cool, you can though. get the like no tie and put in there. I just yeah, bought a, I just bought a pair of Jordans recently. Really? So yeah, I'm, I'm like looking finally good. getting in the Is that like, the new Tacovas? Yeah, these are the new the new Tacovas. You bought them yesterday? I bought them yesterday. I went down there. Do you like a square toe? I like the more round I like the square. I be scratching I, my I toes liked, in there I and liked, shit. Yeah, I like the square toe one, and um, I was thinking about going the, the ostrich, but I was trying to get on your level. You should. You should. Join, I, join I the like, ostrich collection. I mean, dude, like, I'll tell you this. Like, my favorite pair of Tacovas are my, the, the full Nile. They were like fifteen hundred dollars. Yeah, I can't do that. And I, well, I love them. <laughs> yeah, but like I get the most compliments on my ostrich boots. So yeah, I just wear. That's why I wear those. Those all the ostrich time. zip to like five hundred. Because dude, like I have zero style whatsoever. So if I, <laughs> something I'm wearing and somebody compliments me on it, I'm like, fuck yeah. Yeah, that's. I've been trying when to get back from Key West and wear Hawaiian shirt for the next two fucking weeks. <laughs> yeah, like somebody told me I look good. <laughs> are we? Are we doing yeah, Key West like, this year? What? Are we doing Key West this year? Yeah, I mean, I haven't got the invite, so if I don't get the invite soon, I'm just going to book my own room and I, go down I, there and I, not play. I say we go down there and we, we hit do, up the karaoke guy. Hit up the karaoke guy. Bonner, you should come that's this my, year. That's my vacation from y'all. Bonner, no, Bonner, you should come and we should do a DM. What the fuck ever, Bonner? You're hey, always working. Hey, we never see hey, you. Hey, anyway. how, how fun would it be to do a DM Monday with some of our friends in Key West? Huh? How wild would it be to like bring bring down some of the fucking like remote funny. gear? Oh, we are we uh, working on getting this on a mobile side of things too. Yeah, I've done okay, the yeah. I've done, I used I've done that within the round before. Where cool. I've gone out and maybe done in stuff. the bus with Dude, Danny. We're, we're doing it in the bus with Dirty Dan, Big Daddy Dan. We love him. Um, our Santa Claus. Um, and um, but I'm saying doing it in Key West. Like, could you imagine yeah, us in Key cool. West, Bonner and Key Bonner? I feel like you'd be in your glory because you just wouldn't have to wear a shirt. Sounds like work to me, but no, whatever. it'd be fun. <laughs> uh, I think it'd be fun. Yeah, Bonner without a Bonner without a shirt on the whole week, fucking just going on the on the sea dudes and going to Island Dogs. Crazy, like, this sounds awful. Going to karaoke. Bo I'm on Bonner in Key if, West. If we go to Key West this year, we have to hit up the karaoke guy and like make a banner and everything and have yeah. TL. Uh, TL karaoke night, dude. I think it would be huge. I think it would be great. That would be that would be more fun than any than playing any of the damn rounds. Yeah, I don't even there. care about playing the rounds. I just want to go down there to kind of like party or whatever. Yeah, Key West is Key Blessed. Um, I mean, that's where Butt Rock Night came from. Was myself? Yeah, Brian. I saw there's an official Instagram handle. Is it Nikki T on it? Brian owns it. Who Key Blessed? It? No, the uh, Butt Rock official night? Butt Rock Night. Ah, uh, that is Nikki T, cool. and uh, part of the reason we made that was for when people copy it. And I don't know if you saw there was a. Uh, copycat event um someone took yeah, the Bonner, there's, there's no reason why you shouldn't come to key west 
You said that's your vacation away from us. Yeah, you never. I see you like once a month. You never go out. You don't even come to Burrell's rounds anymore. Yeah, what the fuck, bro? Uh, come on, I missed know. this goddamn. We know the real reason. <laughs> I, go to, I go to work at six a.m. I get good, off at four thirty. What a good segue! Now you tell him why you don't come to his rounds. Because I get off work at four thirty. No, tell no, him no. Tra- what happened. Trey what? Lewis is saying it's the so, the money thing, but because because you paid him fifty dollars to take pictures, but you paid Kaylee one hundred fifty. Yeah, yeah, she's no, hotter than. Hey, hey, we now, busted you on the bus. Hey, now I don't pay anybody because Wales takes care of it as yeah. part of my sponsorship. So Wales, but it was still kind of shitty. Well, I'm just saying. <laughs> well, then, well, then you talk. Well, then just come and hang out. You don't have to worry about coming to coming to work. It just come and hang out. Watch McElwain get fucking hammered. It was just funny because we were in the bus and and you it's were like, t- what the fuck? Yeah, you were like, yeah, I pay Kaylee like 150 bucks, and Bottom was like, what the fuck? Yeah, because it, it, God damn it, times have changed. Damn. Now, like, inflation. Everybody's making, Inflation. More. Everybody's making more. Damn. It's been a while since. Fuck you, McAway. I would have paid. I would have paid you that if you came and took photos the other night. Damn. Oh, you well. did do it recently, though. Uh, no, it's been, it's been, it's a, been months. Yeah, I think it's I been a minute, this but year. the last round I played before this past one that we did, you were taking photos there, or at least you were there hanging and, out. And Wales sent you the For sure. with the correct amount. Yeah. So we're taking care of you, Bonner. <laughs> Brill sent me this video of us playing or playing somewhere. It was like what two years ago today. Where were we? We were in Texas. And and McElwain uh, slept with a girl inside of the bar that night. Yeah, <laughs> that, yeah, yeah, he did. He slept with a girl and Tyler. Yeah. Was that that time? I think that was the no, second that was, time. That was the first time we'd been to Tyler. The next <laughs> time we went to Tyler. <laughs> dude, dude, dude. Uh, hey, shout out to our boy Matt McKinney, who after this episode is aired, has gotten married and yeah. doing his thing. Because two years ago, remember he came to Texas with us? Yeah. Remember his crazy wild ex came oh, to Texas God, too? Oh, God, she punched him. Dude, uh, I was driving them. We were in the goddamn Whataburger, par- Whataburger drive-thru. It was Matt Daniel, Matt McKinney, and, um, and, and Matt's ex. And... Matt's ex just got mad at him for no for no reason. He's and gonna just, kill us for even t- talking t- about this. But yeah, thank God he found a woman that was No, dude, Megan Wendell Megan is the shit. When did Are you going to the wedding? Yeah, I'm going. When do you leave? I leave Thursday. He's going to New York City finally, and I'm. It's in New York City. It's in New York. It's in Rhode Island, Long Island, Long Island. God whatever. Damn it. You how do you nothing. like? How's that <laughs> work? Do you like fly in and take a train, taxi, is that Uber? New York, Long Island. Long Island is a section of New York that is the island to Where's the east. Where's Rhode Island? That's Rhode Island. Above. That's a state. Rhode Island's a fucking state. Where it's next it like to above it. it. It's next. It's like below-ish. Rhode, Rhode Island's near where um our wicked tuna bite is. North Carolina, South Carolina, same thing. My favorite. My favorite. Trey Lewis geography was Fuck you, we're not talking about this. <laughs> Well, Burrell's Wait, fired. Well, when, are we, yeah. when are we coming to New England? Yeah. We're coming to Lincoln, New England. Burrell will probably weeks. quit before he gets fired. So. <laughs> if we haven't fired him at this point, I mean, it's not going to happen. Damn. But anyway, so. are you excited to be going up to New York? That's a whole place. There's more people in the city of New York. I mean, dude, than it's a are. wedding. Weddings are exhausting. So. Weddings are awful. No, I feel bad for you. But you're going up for the whole weekend, though. Like, you're getting a full. You're, you're going to New York the best time it is to go to New York. People from around the world go yeah, to New York. I will say you're missing Burrell's Christmas party, so that sucks. Kevin Keppel's Christmas party I got my, at my house. Got my dirty Santa. How about gift? Keppel building that dam? Dude, the table is almost <laughs> fucking done. The other day, uh, Matt Burrell put on a uh, video of of Kepi, Kepsel working in the garage. I put, Bob, I put Bob the Builder as the audio on every update. We've done like six of them. <laughs> and, I, and, and I called Burrell. I was like, you know, my favorite thing about your new house is, is that your basement is already as big of a wreck as your old basement. The garage. Yeah, the garage. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, because there's this bit. But what I will say, Keppel cleaned up the sawdust. Dude, he's got so many tools now. Like, that man should just go out and be a contractor. He could have just bought a table for like, I don't uh, know, well, $4 well, off at Facebook wanted, Marketplace. He wanted a table for if the world's going to end, if there's gonna be another damn tornado. That table, dude, has so much reinforcement in it. I don't know how the fuck we're gonna lift it. I was gonna say, up. I don't know how y'all are gonna get that thing we're, in the well, house. Well, you're apparently on the list of guys that are helping us, McAway. I'm just now learning about so, this. <laughs> so we'll we'll have you, we'll pay you in a case of Miller. So um but yeah, Kepsi. The for real, how was good. your first uh, SEC game? What you think about oh, that? Oh, bro. I mean, I was spoiled. I was spoiled rotten. You took. You guys took good care of me. So, did you have the hat before? Did you buy it there? So, on the way down, oh, I got a lot of Alabama in me the last two weeks. Like, or the, that two week span, I had a great fucking Don time. Amy. Don Amy, she's awesome. Hey, check uh, out check on. out her podcast, Don on the Rocks. Kevin Farr's calling me. What's up, dude? I mean, what is it? I mean, dude, what is up? <laughs> I'm filming a podcast right now. Oh, are you? What's Tell everybody hello. Oh, hey, everybody. Who yeah. are we on the podcast with? Well, that's just me and Burrell and Bonner right now. We're we're doing uh, our first little thing. Oh, uh, 
fucking well, fuck, man. Scout, hey, 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 Chris. Yeah. Hey, I heard him. Hey, Chris, can I can I get a can I get a roll tide? Can I get a roll tide, Chris? Hey, hey, roll damn tide. Don't give a piss. I don't. Hey, I don't give a piss about nothing but the time. Let's go. Hell yeah. Well, uh, what's going on, dude? Oh, not much. Just pulling up at the house from work. I'm cool. Gonna holler at you, but uh, I'll holler at you later on. All right, man. Call me later. Love you, man. Bye. Damn, we forgot to ask him if Kane got his. He said he wanted a pair of Jordans and uh, a four wheeler for Christmas. That's what he said when he was on our episode. Did he get oh, it? Oh yeah, I don't know. Was it that was yeah. important. See so yeah. what Santa does. Shout out to Kane. Um. Yeah. But yes, Alabama. So. I um I get invited to the Iron Bowl with with Trey and um Frank on the way down he stopped at um Academy in in Coleman Alabama yeah and bought so you were asking about his hat he yeah. was he was FaceTiming he's like walking through there I was like yeah just give me a black hood I mean a red hoodie like crimson one he got the white one and then I was like you see that hat right there you need that hat it's a new era of flat so, brim fifty nine fifty so, I, mean, so like, I, I picked it out it looks like the most brutal yeah, hat as fuck dude he's like. And he had the fucking Tims on. Oh, yeah. dude, I had a blast. And I got then, a pair of Tims. Dude, we dude. walked seven miles that day, and I walked them all in my cowboy boots. Fuck. My feet have See, been walked today. On the, on the way down, Five. so after I went to um, after I went to Academy, I stopped at Guthrie's. Oh, Guthrie's fucking sucks. It was really good. Very underrated chicken joint. On my yeah, scale, Guthrie's southern sucks. chicken joints. Guthrie's is surprisingly up pretty high. Did you get the one in Vestavia? No, the one that was the one that, that was in, the one that was in Coleman, oh. and then I took back roads all the way to all the way to where Trey's parents live. Yeah, he got off like Morse Majestic. I took oh, the yeah. back roads all nice the way golf, through Spring Nice uh, driving range and back then, there, and then we yeah. went to the hangar. The hangar. The hangar. The yeah. hangar. You've been to the hangar. Yeah. I have. <laughs> it's yeah. a fucking. Well, you've been calling it the hangar. Yeah, so I was calling it the hangar, dude. A fucking trailer bar on a fucking t- on a fucking um Re- on a runway. Yeah, yeah, on yeah. a runway at an airport with just a bunch of great people, and it was that was a fun fucking night. And then the Iron Bowl, Roll yeah. Tide Willie, Roll Tide Willie, Happy Birthday, dude. Related. That was so insane. Roll, Roll Tide <laughs> Willie, like people like when we go out like in Alabama, uh, people will notice me every now and then. Be like, hey. Can I get a picture? But it was like, dude, he couldn't walk two feet without dude, all somebody the- being like, dude, can I get a picture? I have Try one of these beers we that, got over I felt here. so bad because he got so fucked up. Yeah, dude. Like, he wouldn't say no to a drink. That guy's uh, eyes were yellow. Like, his, his liver is probably <laughs> not doing good. Kick worse off. than McElwain's or better? Oh, uh, worse. Oh, it, was probably, worse. it was probably one of the worst cases of just a guy being, but I will give it, he stuck with the bit. Like, somebody were like, Willie, can we get, can you get a swallower of this? He took it, whether it was like a Bahama Mama in a can or a fucking beer or a yeah. wine Terry, or a white you got club. competition. He's, He's like, that tastes like shit. And then he throw it. Throw <laughs> I don't it. give a piss about nothing but the tide. Yeah. Blitz, bam, Where, blitz. What part of Alabama was he living? Way south. Um, like somewhere near Troy, I think. Okay, wow. Yeah. Pretty yeah. far down there. Yeah, it's pretty far. Yeah, him and him and his um, what's the guy's name? Chad. They were fun. And then we got to go to Chris's tailgate, dude. Yeah, that tailgate was. Yeah, fun. we found out that that uh, no, was Frank's. Frank's. Oh, Frank's tailgate. Excuse Frank's me, tailgate. Frank's tailgate. Um, no, nah, but we figured out uh that I thought Willie and Chad were like related. No, really, you know? they're not. No, they're neighbors. Oh, yeah, that's lit. But I guess he just like decided to start filming him. I guess he's been filming him for years, but finally just put Posted it on the it. internet. Yeah. Willie's like, man, this, I got I got the biggest I got the biggest trailer in the neighborhood. And Tra- Willie was he was a lot of fun, dude. I got to meet Alexander fucking Shannara. Hey, John Carroll Catholic alumni, shout out! To I got to yeah. meet Alex Shannara, and Trey can tell yeah, you the funny <laughs> the funniest part about it was is the earlier in the day, Brill goes, he goes, dude, this would be crazy if I could meet. Alexander Shinora. John Carroll Catholic. Like he's gonna yeah. be in this in this box that and we're And we were like in this box. It's called the <laughs> Champions Club. And uh I went out they have like a little charging station where you can charge your phone. So I, my, I went to charge my phone and I texted Bro. I was like, dude, Alexander Shinar's out here. No shit. And Bro's just fucking sprinting. Bro comes out there and he him and Frank hit the pin. So they were oh, like we were high. I was high as fuck. He goes, I don't know if that's him. Brill's like Googling pictures. He's like standing from here to like the Bro, refrigerator. He's like fucking this tall. He's like standing from here to the refrigerator. He's like trying to Google and see if that him is him. And I'm like, dude, it's him. So I was like, come on, I'll walk over there with you. And he walks over there and asks him. I was like, yeah, man, he's really high right now. So like, <laughs> you know, he yeah. didn't know if it was you or not, but he just, can we get a picture with you? He's like, yeah. Uh, and Alex Shinora's like, I know what it's like to be high, or I've been high before. And I was like, dude, my dude. And we dapped up and yeah. took a picture. Yeah, took nice. a picture. Yeah, it was fun. Nice. We went to the same high school, bro. No shit. 
Yeah. Oh yeah, and same high school as Jimmy. Yeah, Jimmy. Um, oh. But yeah, that was that was fun. And then that um, that next weekend, I go down with McElwain to Zydeco. Which, by the way, the, see any Zydahos? Uh, we had us a fucking time down there, man. I'll tell you what, um, it was it was awesome. Um, we go down there. Um, our good fr- good friend of ours. Um, Did you get laid, McElwain? Donnie. No, Mac McElwain's lucky to have made it into a place to sleep, dude. If he got that drunk, there's no way his dick worked. No, McElwain either gets really drunk or he gets laid. Never both. <laughs> Which yeah, I mean, well, I mean, Hall of Famers hit three hundred, you know. Yeah. Um, but um, but yeah, so we went to Zydeco. We watched uh, Lauren Weintraub and Alexandra K. We got to hang out with Lauren, surprised her. We recently had her on in the round, and she's become a good become a good homie. Um, but we had uh, we had Don Amy with us, and we went out to the bars after Don Amy. Don Amy, she's a great, she's a good girl. Um, but um, after the show, we went out. I didn't realize how drunk someone can get in Birmingham, Alabama. Shit stays up on way you, later. You have, you have got multiple 24-hour bars. You have bars that stay up until 6 a.m. You got live music everywhere. McElwain was getting two Miller Lights and a shot. And a shot. For $12. For $12 Matt, did you take him to the dollars. Quest? That's what I was about to fucking ask. <laughs> no, we went to uh, Neon Moon. We went to Neon Moon. That's we went, a new bar. See, dude, dude, Neon yeah, Moon, that. karaoke bar. We met a dude. What was that guy's name? We met a guy, black guy. Um, used to be in the was in the. Um, <laughs> they went to the quest. They went to quest. No, they he were went, kissing no, each other. No, he was in. Um, he was in the military. He was he was like in the news, and he's like doing this podcast YouTube thing where he's going around like getting like the history history of like people and why there's issues and whatever. But he was doing karaoke, and McElwain just grabs the microphone, like the guy has the <laughs> microphone. Guy is singing karaoke, party like a rock star. So McElwain is just on party the dance floor, like a rock. rock. <laughs> like McElwain's wearing my blue water sunglasses, like just drunk as fuck with the fucking beer in his hand, just party like a rock. Hey, we seen Ingram that video of McElwain just throwing the fucking cone oh, and running away. Dude, yeah, well, I'm saving that for. <laughs> no, that's fine. It'll just randomly well, pop up in the yes, podcast. Yes, yes. Yeah. oh yeah, it'll dude, be out after dude, that. McElwain was just. Well, the thing is, too, is like and. And it's and it's cool to go to this podcast has like six hundred views. You know what I mean? So <laughs> yeah, 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 it'll be yeah. fun. That's so fun. what's cool about Birmingham Thanks, is Randy. that is that uh, yeah, shout out Randy Adams, the homie. Um, but um, what's cool about Birmingham is like having work now being being associated and working with you and you being like my boy yeah. and like coming up, watching, like getting to know all you guys. Go, even just going down there with McElwain, all the security guards at Zydeco were like, McElwain, yeah. what's up? And fucking Devin. McElwain didn't pay for a drink except for at Neon Moon. I think he only paid the $12. And he definitely and he got paid. He, he, he didn't pull the, I don't know how my bar tab was $1,000 <laughs> last night. Bonner must have been there for some of those days, too, back in the day. I only had like four drinks. What was the I definitely ice? had more than four drinks what was, that night. What was the, I know, you, you got you, them for free. Do you remember back in the cover days, how many how high the bar tab would get with Tony I mean, Mitch he and He was McElwain? drinking Jack and Coke then. I don't know. <laughs> I love how you close your eyes when you do it. <laughs> yeah, he does that when he's drunk. I don't know how to do this. But <laughs> when, he, when he's drunk, he does close his yeah, eyes. Oh, he does. He does. But yeah, we, we had part. We, I mean, whatever. Yeah, we were hanging out with um, what was the dude's name that works at the works at Innisfree head of security. Uh, yeah. I know who he is. I don't know what yeah, his uh, name is. Looks like comic book guy. I always forget his he's name. He got the nice um, five o'clock shadow. Yeah, he's got a beard and a ponytail. No, Where's this at? He's a he's a he's been a. Been he's a, a you know who it is. The guy yeah. at Innisfree. No, I can't. Remember the glasses. That. He's no, na- he's at Nana Funks. Oh, Nana Funks. Excuse a little me. Little short wrong, troll wrong. looking guy. Yeah, little dude. Uh, we're not talking about the same guy then. No, yeah. yeah, little guy. He was talking about back in the day. It was just, it's cool to go to a city like to go to like the hometown where the you guy guys that are works from. in his free, his name's Frankie. That's it. Yeah. yeah. No, uh, we hung out Frankie, with uh, his brother is a is a quarterback, uh, Frank Mullins. This is uh, Nick, oh, really? Nick Mullins' Nick Mull- brother. No shit. Yeah, he went to Spain Park. Yeah, no shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, that's awesome. No, yeah, right. I don't know if Frank still works there. You but, remember Randy, right, from Innisfree? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's now he's at Zydeco now too. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was all the, but it was Randy, just... Randy the Asian. He always calls me Matt Bennett. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's like Matt Bennett. What's up, dude? <coughs> but, Damn. But Birmingham, Alabama, 
has risen on the list for me of like wild towns yeah. and i'm so looking forward to, to the january 14th show yeah. well it's going to be like a 13th and a 14th are oh, you going to go down the day before all, the nashville crew is going down the day before nikki t and all the Rays rowdy folks have purchased tickets and cool. they're getting an airbnb Guess I oh yeah and they're they got a, they got a big airbnb house and they want to go out and experience these 24-hour bars and all this they want to be at the nick when the sun comes up yeah. they want one of those they want to be at quest when the sun comes up no. I was gonna take bro. Yeah, we're going to the night. drag show. Dude, fuck oh, it. Nikki Teal, dude, with all the girls, Nikki Teal guy. The real house single life. <laughs> <laughs> you been critter crawling or what? Finger, uh, finger blasting. We've been, we've been, we've been <laughs> finger popping each other's assholes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the greatest movie ever. It is. A what great is it? Fucking movie. Twenty-one Jump Street. Oh, I've never seen yeah, it. Dude, you have to see it. I'll go watch it tonight then. Dude, I've never had Waffle House before. Is it any good? Can I have some chicken fingers? <laughs> yeah. Anyways, how's single life? Bro? Um, how, oh, single life has been has been fun. I mean, it was just the relationship was was good, but it just she just wasn't the right one. She yeah. Cool, good, good, good girl, nice girl, respectful. Like, what awesome. was the age difference there? Um, it was only uh, it was only like two years. It wasn't much. That's yeah. not bad. Mm -hmm. But but the age difference of being in Nashville was a little bit different too. Like I've been here four years. She's yeah, I been feel here like, like girls that. First move to Nashville, like shouldn't date anybody their first year. No, no. And what I'm, so it's been, it's been fun, like doing the single thing. I've definitely, like, had, that's usually a turn off for me. Like, if a girl's like, oh, I just moved here. Like, oh, I got to slide in before they're going date like, somebody famous. And then and girls are like, oh, I just moved here last week. I'm like, oh, fuck that. Because well, she's going to think I'm really cool. And then she's going to find out that everybody in this town is just like me. That's know? why I got to get in quick. Yeah, or or what they'll do is they'll, they'll latch on to you and then their friend group, like they'll merge into your to your friend group because they just yeah. moved in. They don't have friends yet. So it's like there is Nashville is mm -hmm. one of the weirdest cities to date yeah, in. I will sure. say that. But I'm enjoying it. I'm having fun. The um the DMs have been wild, man. Yeah. The DMs and the Snapchats have been like stupid. But yeah. um, but no, it's been it's been fun. What I what I'm trying to do though is because like since I've for as long as I for as long as I can remember, um, I've been um trying when I go out and meet a girl, I try to I try to like date yeah. her and make it serious. So this is like the first time in my life I'm like comfortable with like it's like the Toby Keith song I'm just talking about tonight. I'm not talking about, about hooking up, up and hanging out. out. <laughs> I'm just talking about tonight. So it's like the first time in my life I'm feeling that. And it's like, me too. I'm, and, I'm up, and I'm up front with them. Like when we're going up, like, well, I still want a relationship. So. I know you do, Bonner, and you're picky as fuck. So it's probably never going to happen. You got to uh, open your horizon. The thing is, is sometimes I think I want a relationship. And then I just realized that I don't. But you can still take multiple girls out on. I just want to be like Dean and have two wives, you know? <laughs> That guy, I mean, that guy, Dean, he really, gets, he, he was, really has it figured out. He's, he gets paid to take people out on fishing trips, people that are that are cool people, successful people. Yeah, like people. me. Yeah, yeah, he gets to take out I've cool. I've been twice in the last four weeks. Dude, he brings out cool people fishing with his wives, and he, he he's living the dream. Yeah. Hey, when's your TV show come out? Yeah, what's, what was all that about? Um, what was the name of the TV show? Ultimate Catch. Ultimate Catch? It sounds like a dating show. Yeah, I know, where they right. Where people go fishing together. But um, I'm not sure when it comes out, but I'm sure we'll let everybody know. Did you catch a lot of stuff? They catch yeah, you, outfished did, the guy. Did they catch you doing anything stupid? No, of course no, not. No, was just fishing? I'm professional. <laughs> so it wasn't a Trey Lewis fishing show. <laughs> well, I'm saying like doing like, so it was just, what what they like, did they start Might out? It's a 27 like, minute show. So did like, they start it out like in the cabin, like waking up and then going no, to the boat no, and doing no, all no. that? Or is it just you're on the boat the whole time? You're just on the boat talking about life. Oh, cool! Yeah, but I I caught some I caught some nice fish. That's awesome. Which lake did y'all fish? Uh, we fished um, um, what is it? We fished Purvis. We caught some crappie in Purvis. And Purvis, then we, and then we fished in um, um, uh, Scotts Bay. That's nice. the that's first, we went that to. first lake that we always go to. And I was down there this last weekend. We fished Scotts Bay a lot. We caught uh, caught like four or five what pounders. Was, what was that gun you were shooting? Dude, I don't know what kind of gun that was, but it's Chris, the owners, and it was a fully automatic gun. You just get one. Badass. It was American as fuck. I, I mean, McKinney already shot one through your floor, so why yeah. not? Yeah. yeah, that's I've I've got a bad shotgun shooting story, but not I haven't never fired one off shooting in the house. Shooting guns take us off the internet. <laughs> Uh, this will make, make the ratings skyrocket. Canceled guns, uh, America. I mean, we, 
Pry my guns out of my we dead post, hands. We, well, that that escalated quickly. <laughs> <laughs> roll Tide. Roll Tide. If, you, if you're coming for my guns, you better pry them out of my dead hands. <laughs> well, look, we posted a video about... Fuck Joe Biden. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, Alex. Well, never Ingram. mind. We posted a video... Shout you, out to the team in Austin, Texas. Fuck it. Hey, Ingram. <laughs> You progressive fucks. Um, so Bonner, so you're you're looking for a relationship. What are you looking for in a woman? So she's Catholic. That's about it, bro. No, there's more. Eh, not anymore. There's so many Catholics in Nashville. That can't be the only. I thing. met like Bonner two just wants somebody to love him. But yeah, so like what? Though you like him tall, right? Nah, eh, I don't really care anymore. Like what's just your, whatever, just whatever. As just whoever as, will do me. Yeah, as long as they're Catholic. Did you ask him to love me? Did you, I mean, whoever will love me. Trey introduced me to a Catholic person a couple years back. Did I? Yeah, yeah, that was kind of your roommate at one point. That had also dated Justin Holt, the teacher. Dude, what? <laughs> Oh, what? That yeah. wasn't do what? That was dude what? <laughs> dude what? <laughs> that was a disaster, but... Oh, well, yeah, I forgot about her. She's like... I think she's engaged now or something. I don't know. She's still oh, yeah. hot. From Huntsville. Dude, dude what? He's from Huntsville? She's from Huntsville. She's, she's from, from Mobile. Or, oh, Mobile, yeah. <laughs> There's so much happening. She's there. an LSU fan. Yeah, but she, she teaches at John Carroll. Okay, that's cool. Um, yeah. But what did you ask... Did you ever ask Bonner the celebrity crush? <laughs> Yeah, uh, for sure. It? Olivia yeah, Rodriguez. Somebody that nobody knows. Olivia who it is. Rodrigo, dude, yeah. she's mega famous. The world knows but. who she is. I don't. I don't know Who's what she, your celebrity. I don't know what she looks like. I told you, Carmen Electra. Yeah. Even now, Carmen. I'm just anybody I'm that'll here. have me. I'm with Bonner. <laughs> <laughs> who was <laughs> McElwain's? Oh yeah, it was. It was uh, whoever. Who, whoever they, Whoever's DMs, he's whoever's posts, he's commenting on our pictures. Yeah, McElwain, how's the conquest going? This could be a great way for you to tell her how you feel. So, right now, yeah. look into that camera. Look into that GoPro. Tell her. Oh yeah, she's. Uh, I just commented something on. I think what'd it was you, yesterday. What'd you say? What'd you say? Right oh, I just put. I, my, I just put emojis on. I'm look. I think she's just gonna like DM one day, and it's gonna be like her manager and be like, "Hey, Please dude, stop. stop doing this. This is weird." I'm looking it up right now. Plus, she don't follow me yet, but she. Uh, <laughs> I like how sometimes I'll go to like the search page on Instagram, oh, and I'll just be scrolling through. That's like, appropriate. He just did the rock and roll emoji. That's cool. You're did a nice she, guy. Did, she, did, cool. she, did you, you like it? Like sometimes I'll be yeah, just she like, liked it. I'll go to the search page on Instagram, and I'll just like skip through. You know, Instagram is basically like porn now. Yeah, yours you is. Know? Mine isn't. But it's porn like and you, fish. You, yeah, porn <laughs> and fish, and you like land on all these hot girls, and the first and you can see like who likes it, and down there by every single one is Matt McElwain. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's how I find the that's how I find the nice ladies on uh, Twitter. McElwain's Mac, been that way since I've known him. But so, he's seven consistent, or eight years. Dude. Yeah, he's consistent. Well, the, well you you've known McElwain long enough. He gets girls. It was pro, it was probably you probably remember McElwain doing that on Facebook. Yeah. that's how far. That's how long back yeah. you guys go. Yeah. I don't know. It's that's not right. cool to do it on Facebook. Yeah. Well, I'm saying like seven years ago. Back it was. in the day, it was was it. Well, uh, let's let's wrap this up here. We got uh we got a cool guest coming on today, Taylor Austin Die. Here is our interview with her. Did you ever drink that stuff that was like that we called it hunch punch? It was like it was like a cooler and it had like Everclear and like pieces of fruit. Jungle like, juice. No, we just call that hooch. Yeah. Hooch? Hooch. I just call I call that jungle juice. I've heard it called jungle juice, but out of like a Gatorade hooch. cooler. I mean, you, like get, football practice. I mean, you get hammered on that <laughs> and shit. It's, so great. it's like people are throwing, blackout in 35 minutes. People are throwing Percocets and shit in there. <laughs> yeah. Yo, you haven't had it until you've had it out of the bathtub, though. Oh, wow. Bathtub. When you've yeah. had it out of the bathtub, then you can say you've lived. In your bathtub. I use like, my bathtub. Yeah. yeah, we used it too. Oh, uh, shit. <laughs> Hell yeah, we just oh. talked about drinking, buying people's bath water just like 15 minutes before you got here. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Were you, do you remember that, Trey? What's up? We were just talking about buying people's bath water on the internet. Oh, yeah. 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 That's a that's a very the, niche market. The internet's a weird place. Yeah. yeah. Um, Mac Wayne's trying to buy, uh, what is the, what's the girl's name? <laughs> <laughs> He's, he's obsessed. He's he's like commenting on her uh, Instagram and stuff. He's I he's a, like speaking. He has a formula. Yeah. Is what he says. Yeah, isn't working. Go, going back to your single days, what would be a good way? Because we're trying to get Bonner a girlfriend. McElwain's in a pursuit that probably he is. He's usually got a good. I'm success in several rate. pursuits. I mean, he's in several pursuits. He's got a good system. What's on a, the What's internet? a good way of sliding? in? I'm a recently single guy. Like, what advice do you have for Man, a I've, single gen? All four of us are actually single I, for I've the been, first time ever. I've been married twice. I promise you don't want been my married twice. <laughs> twice. You don't want my oh, Wait, are you on your second marriage or you're on? Fuck yeah. I'm just trying to go to Chipotle. <laughs> just tell me what to do. Well, that's Chipotle how it church. starts. That's how it I starts. I want to go to Chipotle and church. That's it. <laughs> yeah. Second marriage. You're, well, how old was you're the obviously first? doing something right. Please tell us. How old were you when you first got married? 20. 
I was 22 yeah, when 20, I got married. 20, 20 or 21. I can't remember. Never I was right it. out of college. Folks watching the DM Monday podcast, this is Taylor Austin Dye. She's our, our guest today. <laughs> What's yeah. We're going to have a good time. I can already feel it. I like your hat. Thank you. Where'd you get that? Um, Uncle Becca, inappropriate chucker hats.com. Brill was telling us today that uh, that uh, he's going to get shirts made that says these damn TikTok kids. <laughs> what, would you wear one? I would. Hell yeah. yeah, that's great. That's great. I mean, yeah, you got to, I'll take a large. We want to do that. We want to do that one. And we want to do a shirt that just says back on the weed. <laughs> back on the weed. <laughs> just make the gener- It's. I want to co- wear one of those show me that butthole hats. But oh, like, I, like I feel those. like. The sh- the they're sh- overplayed now. Yeah, I feel Everybody's like they're overplayed Mainstream. Mitch, Mitch Goshi I'm had on one the, the first Papa titty thing out. That's like Papa my. Papa titty? Papa titty out. That's like my. But is it felt Papa like Papa, like P-A-P-A? No. Like Papa no. titty out. No. Pop. Space A space titty space and, spell, and you have to spell titty T I D D Y yes. double D and that's the, the only two, and the two D's yeah. are capital yeah, yeah that's right. like that's like my my favorite not my uh, Snapchat um, message that I send I just send that I don't I don't say anything else <laughs> and if they don't pop a titty out I just remove them you know? Jesus. That's what Snapchat is for right sending nudes yeah like and sharing I, your music that's it. And sharing your music. I mean, you're married. Oh, so I, I don't, don't share know. my music yeah. on there. But you don't. You don't like put a demo on there or something <laughs> every now and then. No, I got a, a bunch of. Can I say? Can I cut? You can I do got a bunch you of want. fucking weirdos on my Snapchat. Like, really? Yeah, because I have a public Snapchat. <laughs> oh yeah. I get you so many got, dick yeah. pics, dude. Like you get dick pics and all horrible. kinds of stuff. Do you rate them? Oh, I screenshot them usually. Yeah. Send, send them husband. back to him. Yeah. Um, and then I'll have Ben get on there, and he'll just like send a selfie, like just like. Yeah. Very menacingly. And usually they block me after like that. Like he's like so, looking at it like yeah. he's into it or something. <laughs> That's right. Like he's great. into it. Attach yeah. your Venmo, $5. Yeah. I've seen people that do the ratings. Yeah. Though. That's uh, that's pretty cool. I mean, that's a good idea. I love the ratings the of the dick pics. Yeah. yeah. Like, I'm, I'm not like against OnlyFans. Of course, I don't have an OnlyFans. I mean, I don't even look good with clothes on most of the time unless they're baggy, you know. Hey, you're doing good, though. You've I'm been, you've been slimming good. down. I'm good. I'm kind of off the train right now, but, you know, we'll get back after you're the You're stopped. You're about to get back on it. You're not even a melted ice cream cone and a regular I'm like ice cream for it, But I feel like every time I'm around people that have an OnlyFans, it's all they talk about. It's like, man, that's cool. It's but like their like, personality yeah. trait. It's like, yeah. let's just not do this, you know. Like, it's always a little awkward, too. Yeah. It's like. It's like, cool, you sell your butthole pics. That's fine. Like, we don't have to talk about it, though. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I've probably bought them before, you know? <laughs> it's already public knowledge that from January to September, I spent $3,000 on OnlyFans. <laughs> what? Yeah, it's on the last episode we did with Ella. <laughs> so when Ella came on the podcast, we did this like thing where we had to eat this gross shit and like spin the wheel. And we either had to answer a question or eat something gross. It was our Christmas special. Yeah, DM it was, it was Monday, great. Trey Lewis Christmas. <laughs> it was great. Wait, so where'd you we go to college? We can eat some gross shit today if you want to. What? <laughs> where'd you go to college? <laughs> yeah, where'd you go? And are you a DeMarcus Cousins fan if you're from Kentucky? Uh, yeah, I, went, I didn't go to UK. I went to a private uh, liberal arts school in Georgetown, Kentucky. Uh-huh. So, yeah, but I do love uh, UK. I mean, I don't keep up with it. Like, you know, there's, there's a lot of like crazed, diehard UK fans at home. Go but Cats. Cats by 90. C-A-T-S, Cats. No, um, I do love it. I go to the games, but I just prefer to go and get a hot dog and a beer and hang out. I don't really care about the game. Think about DeMarcus Cousins' legacy. Yeah. I mean, that was more of a John Wall. I mean, that was a good year. That was uh, very popular at the time when I was like in high school. So everyone was like doing the. The dance. Oh, yeah. You remember? Yeah. John and there was the song, John, the John Wall. Wall. John, John Wall. Wall. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't know anything about it. Trey's like, what the fuck's yeah. going on? <laughs> yeah, I'm just like a football guy. That's it. Um, so let's talk about it. Where did me and, you, me and you meet for the first time? Was it Live Oak? I don't know. The, first, uh, the My memory is is that we met on the boat. Oh, the Joy Best birthday. 2020. Was it Joy Beth's birthday? Yeah, Joy Beth and, McKinney's birthday. Yeah. And, it, and none of us had anything going on. Like, we were like, what the fuck are we all doing? With oh, yeah. Because that's what it I was, felt like. Everything it went to hell. All yeah, the shows were gone. In 2020. Horrible. But it was me, you, Priscilla. Yep. Um, that was when I first met Kara. The first time I ever met her. Um, who else was on the show? Ella, Ella was there. Say Joy Ella, Beth, Ella was Ella, probably there. You know. Ella showed me how to. Open a shotgun, like to shotgun a beer with your tooth. Yeah. She showed me how to do that. that day. I remember that. That was fun. <laughs> Real tired. Or she's more eagle. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. It was a good time. Um, You're right. That's totally right. And now we're all just crushing it. So yeah. that's pretty cool. Feels yeah. good. I mean, yeah. to be out of that 
space, you know, what is it, two, two and a half years later? I mean, that was a funny day. Kristen stubbed her toe. I mean, <laughs> she's I mean, always losing a toenail, dude. I mean, we got, always. I mean, we got losing out. a toenail, not even a fingernail. Always yeah. losing a toenail. No, her whole toe will come off like periodically, like she's, every three months, her toenail will come off. Yeah. And she carries around, she carries them around in her wallet. What? Oh, gross. She carries them around? I'm She'll out. bring them out at the bar. I'm like, Put that shit off. Put that shit Hi, up. I'm Kristen. Here's my toenail. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's her, though. I love her, though. She's awesome. <laughs> Is she single? Yeah. No, no, no. Wait. No wonder. Wait. No. She actually just got a boyfriend. I'm Dang. lying. I'm lying. I wonder if she threw her toenails away. Oh, I don't know or if he knows she, about that. Or if she's told him. Sorry, that Dan. That might, that might have been what brought him in. Yeah. Might be really into toenails. Dan, yeah. if you're watching this, I'm sorry to out yeah. Kristen like that. Yeah. <laughs> well, what have you been up to l lately? And I just released a song that yeah. was pretty fun. It's called Damage Control. I listened to it. I listened to all your music all Thank the way you. back from Florida yesterday. Um, so, yeah, that one came out the day after Thanksgiving. And then I'm getting ready this year to record a full album. Hell yeah. So I've been just. I heard. You heard. Hey, are you, is Chris Utley producing your stuff? Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. love him. Yeah. yeah He's so awesome. we have a ride actually next week. Yeah. Me and him and uh, Nicole Croteau, do you know her? Uh -uh. We have been just. We call each other uh, the dream team. Yeah. We've just been knocking yeah. them out. <laughs> so I originally met Chris Utley um, when he was at Benchmark, when he was like, okay. running that studio, like, I don't know, like Whiskey Missed Me. So like, what, 2017? Yeah. And um, he was friends with a good friend of mine, Nolan. Rest in peace. Um, but uh, anyways, uh, so I mean, I mean, he was always like the guy down there. And then. When I, when I started writing at Sony and, you know, writing with, like, John Pierce and all those guys, um, they were like, yeah, they're signing my buddy Chris. So, me and him have been writing together and stuff. He's, yeah, he's, he's, awesome. he's really talented at, what, you know, what he does. He's, you know, a weird Pittsburgh guy. I like him, though. Yeah. You know? I've never written with he a track loves, guy. He loves beer. Yeah, track guy's cool, right? I love it. I will yeah. never go back. You just, like, leave with a demo in hand. If I mean. You, if you can remember all the melodies. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, I, I have to record my vocal, like, that day or else I'm trash. See, I'm the worst. Like, I like making, like, the writer in the room that, that doesn't really like to sing, sing the demo, and then I come back the next day just to, like, get all the melodies. Like, I'm the worst at, like, right there on the spot. Really? Yeah. I don't know. I feel like I can just kind of, I don't know. Nicole is really good at melodies, and so us three are kind of, like, yeah. just... Me and Nicole go back and forth. Like, should I go up here? Should I go down here? But anyway, yeah, I love writing with Chris. Yeah. Just him being, because I'll be like, I'm feeling like Gretchen Wilson mixed with Nickelback. And he's like, got it. Yeah, it that's great. That's a vibe. Gretchen it. Wilson and Nickelback. Right. Like, it's my shit. Sign right? me up. Yeah, Nickelback's going on tour. I will be in front row. Yeah. I am. Don't yeah. don't even say anything. I love the butt rock. I own a Nickelback hockey jersey. You better get your uh, Ticketmaster verified fan pre-sale now. Yeah, the ticket stuff's been fucked up, what hasn't it? What is up with that? I tried to get Paramore tickets for the Opry. Holy shit. They planned the really? Opry. Couldn't get them? Wow. They're, uh, the Ryman? No, the Opry house. Oh, the actual yeah. Opry. I mean, Olivia Rodrigo played there last year in March, yeah. and that fucking sold out in minutes. So. Yeah, but how about your Taylor Swift ticket? I got yeah, Taylor Swift ticket. I got one Taylor Swift ticket. One. One. You I can only afford yourself? one. Hell yeah. <laughs> Listen, uh, these other people don't deserve to see Taylor Swift. At that price point, fuck them. How much, no, you can't take our saying uh, with how Tracy much, Lawrence. Uh, how much, uh, yeah, how much did you pay for your ticket? $877. Holy shit. And how long did you wait for the ticket? Well, uh, like over eight hours. Like, and like, I, and I used somebody else's account. Who I can't had, think you, like, of any artists that I, I would. Like, is there yeah. somebody, I was like, oh, God damn it. Like, because people are going through that with all the Wallen <laughs> stuff right now, too. Like, the Wallen tickets are the same kind of way. I cannot think it's of an nuts. artist that I would sit and wait eight hours in the queue and then pay $800 for. I would have paid really more and my budget was 1200 <laughs> I mean, if somebody would have to, Michael Jackson would have to come back from the fucking dead for me to do that. You would have paid to see right? Hologram Michael Jackson? <laughs> yeah, I mean, what if it was Hologram Michael Jackson with Hologram Tupac and Hologram Biggie? Because they all do Hologram tours. Okay, that I would definitely do that. Just see Hologram. But like, to pay that much money, not even see a real person. <laughs> Tupac's still alive, so. I mean, I mean yeah, he's probably down that. in Cuba rolling cigars. He's at yeah. Big Friendly. Oh, he is at Big Friendly Productions. Shout out. So when you go to these concerts by yourself, I know you're the guest, but do you talk to anybody or do you just... Well, yeah, do you make friends with the other Swifties? I mean, dude, I went to a bunch of shows just here by myself. Yeah. No, usually I just usually go by myself and vibe. I don't know. Yeah. Do you like dance and stuff? Or what? I don't know. I'll get high and let he, you know how it goes. He, he probably cries. I will cry. Can for you sure. tie like a GoPro to your body so he can just like watch you? Yeah, no, I'm just embarrassed. Just go through the crowd. I've got you a GoPro right here. We'll get, we'll set it up. I remember when you and your your girlfriend from this last time, bro or your last girlfriend, when y'all broke up, you went to like four Taylor Swift concerts. I did. 
Yeah, how much money did you spend that year? Not a lot. Uh, not you, you know <laughs> what? Never mind, lot. Trey. You, you just bought eight hundred dollars. It was like a couple hundred bucks. Right, so but, when she does a show, does she do like the old country stuff? Or does yeah, she, she does like. Though this is the Errors tour, so she's playing like stuff from all the albums. Oh, cool! So that's what we what like a three hour show. I mean, I hope so. so I should do. Gotta like, get my money yours somehow. Uh, our song. I mean, I hope so. That? She has to. Yeah, she will. That's all. Awesome. I believe in her. We're, we're a Taylor stand. <laughs> were you a Taylor? Were you a Taylor Swift person? Was Taylor Austin not a Taylor Swift fan? I mean, she's cool or whatever. Like you know what I'm saying, like back in the day, like growing up, like I didn't really get into her much until like later. Okay. Yeah, let's yeah. get into it. So you're from Kentucky. You grew up in mm-hmm. Kentucky. Then uh, southeast. Went, yeah. Middle yeah. nowhere. Oh, did you know about Corbin? <laughs> oh yeah. Did you, we have fun in Corbin. Did Kentucky. your family play music? Did you grow up playing music? Uh-uh. Well, I, I, did, I grew up playing music, but none of my family or anything yeah. played. It was just kind of a, a weird thing. Your family's like, this girl can sing, y'all. <laughs> Listen to her. Were you singing in church? Yeah. Yeah, I started out singing in church and then singing. I actually got like a professional gig when I was five at the Renfro Valley Barn Dance. Did you play at Renfro Valley? Did I have to see that I don't or not? I think so. We no, we You played we Corbin Arena. We went to Corbin, gotcha. Kentucky. We played in this place called Ice House twice. Oh, you didn't you played Ice House. Yeah. Okay. Have you been there? I've seen it. I have never been inside it's special. Anything. We yeah. love it. It's a time. They're there Samantha and the crew that are very good to us. Yeah, okay. it's a good time. The the owner is um she's also like a UFC fighter or M M A oh. fighter and Terry fought her and she she took him down. It was great. Beat the hell out of Big Dick Had Terry. Video. <laughs> He's like, We should have done this naked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, Corbin was cool. Well, I hope, hopefully we're going back soon. Yeah. Anyway, it's back to the story. What was I talking about? You got a job as <laughs> professionally oh, yeah, singing yeah. at five? When I was five, I was on this thing called the barn dance. It was literally in a barn, and it was a variety show, and I would clog and play the fiddle and you sing. Clog? Oh, you play the fiddle? I used to. Okay. That's cool. Last time ago. But <laughs> Hell, we need the clogs and the fiddle. <laughs> that's my party trick when I get drunk, so next time we're out. the fiddle? No, no the clogging. Oh, okay, the clogging. <laughs> Who the hell just brings a fiddle? Like, oh, fuck, I brought this. <laughs> I was, well, she said next time we're hanging out. I thought she was. that's what she was going to say, but she said next time we're partying. <laughs> Will you clog at Red Door if we, if we catch you I drunk at Red Door? I have clogged at Red Door. You clogged at Red Door? I clogged at every bar. <laughs> really? Live Oak, Losers, Winners. Yep. I guess we got to go out and get her drunk sometime. <laughs> yeah, get her clocking. We're going to Live Oak after this. With Wild Greg. Yeah. Wild Greg. <laughs> I'm Wild Greg. He really is. He's like old Greg, but Wild Greg. <laughs> Wild Greg. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, you did the variety show. What happened after that? Oh, so I just I just kept playing music, you know, like I, I did that for a long time. And then, you know, I played like festivals and fairs and talent shows and everything just around Kentucky. And then um, I went to college and did vocal performance. And then after I graduated, I came down here. Well, I worked a radio. I was a radio DJ for like a year after hey, I graduated. High five. Hey, radio. High five. Uh, I love that job. What station were you at? 103.7. WSKV. Hey, hell yeah. I had a three hour drive time show. It was called Songbird Radio. And it was like a request hour mixed with like people would call in and talk to me and just like I would play all kinds of stuff. Was it, it like was, old people calling oh, and be like, play some Johnny Cash, play some Keith Whitley? It was like, if and you don't just care, like, play that uh, Gordon Lightfoot song for me. I was like, that is eight <laughs> minutes long. Oh, no. <laughs> I hated that song. There was a guy that called in every day and requested the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. I don't even know what that is. Did you play uh, it? Or you gotta listen to that. So my dad got drunk one Christmas and just played it on repeat. It was it's the like greatest thing long. ever. Until finally my stepmom came in and was like, turn this shit <laughs> off. See, I used to, when I, when I worked in radio, we I was at adult contemporary stations. So it was all like soccer mom music. So like Bruno <laughs> Mars, Taylor Swift, Bon Jovi, Bruce Springsteen. So we had a, we had a, a live version of Hotel California that was 10 minutes. So you could it, go take a shit. Yeah, if I had to take a shit, I'd load up live version of Hotel California yeah. with the crowd clapping. And then it's like the people listening knew that they were like, oh, this guy or girl's going and taking a shit yep. right now because it's a 10 minute song that song's All like the, uh, the same melody the whole time the whole song too <laughs> so, it's bad. so, bad, yeah. so mundane and, pe- and people love it no just this one guy there's some people i think it's a great song personally <laughs> it came on at the gym I mean, today came on at the gym oh god Gordon Lightfoot, oh no like, i'm talking about hotel california oh, i'm talking songs about. by himself anyways what <laughs> oh nothing important <laughs> fuck me fuck me uh, fuck me uh, fuck me ben miller fuck me <laughs> well, uh, yeah. how old were you when you moved to nashville um, I think I was 22. Dang. 22. How, how old are you now? 28. Okay. So, no, I was 23. I've been here four, 
fuck, I don't know. I'm not really bad at math. I just turned 28. <laughs> yeah. I moved here at the beginning of 2018, however old I was then. And I'm 28 now. Nice. That's nice. about the same about the same time I moved here. It was 2018. Yeah, I was beginning. also 23. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, that's probably right. Around that same I've been time. here four five years. Almost. Can you five believe years, I'm I 35? I just turned 35. No, I can't. I'm so old. Grandpa. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> Papa. <laughs> that's what <laughs> I call Ben. I call Ben Papa. <laughs> yeah, crazy. Um, so what, who who were you running around with when you first got to town? What were you like? What was your job? What were you doing? All that stuff. Man, I did. I just jumped in and did music full time. Yeah. I started playing on Broadway. I was playing like seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve times a week were down you a, there. Were you like, a Steve Smith girl? Were you, at the, were you in the Twinsies? No, sir. Hey, you did good. Congrats on Avoided that. Avoided that like the play, Hard brother. to avoid those gigs yeah. when you first moved to town because there's so many of them. I didn't, though. I was lucky. I, I got to do kind of the other ones. And uh, so I did that for, you know, up until 2020. And then when 2020 hit and everything closed down, I actually cleaned Airbnbs. Oh, um, wow. Yeah, that's that, awesome. A lot during that year. Um, y'all had like a, it was you, Priscilla, and somebody else. What did y'all call it? Me, Priscilla, and Kristen had a little uh, trio yeah. with like alter egos. We all wore wigs and shit, and we called ourselves the Broadway Broads. The Broadway Broads. We actually Broadway did, Broad. so we yeah. did a bunch of gigs. I do remember yeah. here. I do yeah. remember hearing that. We put out a song. It's fun. I loved yeah. it. Yeah. Well, so where were your gigs at on Broadway? Like, we, what were you playing? We played a gig at Margaritaville. Oh shit! Yeah. Okay, so that was interesting. I'm trying to think, uh, or even just you in general. Like, where were you? Where were your gigs on Broadway? Oh, I, I mean, because there's all the different. Did circuits. you play at that little bar that's like right next to Bridgestone? Pete and Terry's. Yeah, I, I never played at Pete. Oh, never. I played there one time with Priscilla. Yeah, the fuck um, is Pete and Terry's? It's is something different. Attached. Now. Oh, is it? I don't think it's Pete and Terry's. Yeah, I don't know. I, I want to see where this is on the map. It's like attached to Bridgestone on that side by the smallest bar. What's I want to called? see this. Nope. Yeah, I don't know what it's called. Garen Garen plays there yeah. a lot. Yeah. Pete and Terry's. It was, I've never even heard of that. But you were at like up. Whiskey Row or, Al, or Luke Breeze. At that point, 2018, Aldean's hadn't, had, like, uh, hadn't even opened yet. Well, was I, th- ready to open. It was, you know, I think it opened later that year, maybe. So I played there, like Tequila Cowboy, Luke, Luke Bryan's. Um, I played it Famous, some on second. What's that other one that's closed now? Benchmark? Yeah. I love that bar. They yeah, always had the cool cheapest spot. drinks and like always a good hanging. Doc there. Holidays is down there. Doc Holidays. Um, trying to think. Oh, um, Whiskey Bent Saloon. So I like was in pretty much all of mix. I played AJ. So except Tootsie's Rippies, Honky Tonk. Do you still go to Broadway or do you kind of have like PTSD going down know, there? I, yeah. P- I, I have, love Broadway. I have PTSD do going really? down. I work security. Trey loves oh. Broadway. I, I love, love Broadway. Broadway. I like it more than Midtown. I love Broadway. <laughs> I will get fucked up and go to Broadway any day of the week. Especially, what is today? Monday? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday like the is week, like the best. It's, yeah, it's great. I love uh, Nudies. It's probably one I mean, of my last favorite time, rock, Nudies. Or, yeah, last time we went to Broadway, we had us. Uh, yeah, we went to, uh, what's the the karaoke Miss bar? Miss Kelly's. And, yeah, Miss Kelly's. I was there last night. Mm-hmm, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah, I love that place. Mm-hmm. Last time I went there, I was making out with some girls. Great. McElwain Mag- died at the table. That my, the funniest <laughs> thing I did was uh, Brent Gafford walked in there. And, you know, he's one of the writers that dig down. And uh, he had on his cowboy hat. He just had a baby. Him and his wife were moving back to Georgia. And uh, I was like, dude, let's switch hats. And like, I'd been hanging out with this girl already, but he didn't know that. And I was like, he gave me his hat. I was like, dude, this cowboy hat makes me look sexy. I'm about to walk over there and make out with this girl right now. Watch this. (laughs) (laughs) And I did it. And for about like three minutes, he thought I was the coolest thing ever. (laughs) What did he say? (laughs) What What did he say? He was like, dude, you're just breaking it in, man. You know, like, <laughs> he, he's freaking out. But, and then somebody spilled the beans that, you know. It's probably McElwain. We met her two bars already. I know already. Yeah, we Trey knows bars. this girl already. <laughs> I know how to kiss Trey made girl. me get up there and sing Real Good Man with him, and I don't sing. <laughs> oh, I have some phenomenal <laughs> McElwain footage of this night. Like, yeah, well, that night ended kind of shitty because Matt was so drunk. He was, like, falling asleep, and then he was crying. I it's your fault. Up, <laughs> I, ended up at, I ended up at a Red Door after this. We Oh, Nikki T was with us, too. Wait, did I see you? You might have seen, I might have seen you at Red Door later that night. This was well, I saw you the other night at Red Door. Oh, okay. This was a long time Red ago. Red Door week. No, this was like, like two weeks ago. Less than two weeks ago. Oh, yeah. Well, could have been. Could have been, yeah. Could have been. Is Red Door like your favorite one to just pop in? <clears throat> you never who you're gonna see. It's like a tunnel. You go in the red door and you never know when you're gonna leave. The yeah. red lights just suck you in. We usually start at losers to catch the band and then we'll mosey on down to, to Red Door. It's kinda like the the nightcap, you know? Yeah. 
You never know what you're going to find in there. Yeah. Did it you can ever go have, either way? You have any like? Are you still cleaning Airbnbs or do you, what are you doing no, now? No, I'm doing do music full time. Full time. Yeah. That's great. Are you traveling and playing shows or? Yeah, what? I'm super busy. I've been all over the place this past year, and um, I'm kind of off the next couple of weeks. Um, I got a show at the listening room, but then I'm off until January, the first week of January. That's so, awesome. and then I pick back up. We're heading to uh, Alabama. Where are y'all playing in Alabama? Prattville. Carl's Country. Hey, Carl's Country. Hey, oh, yeah. 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 Rhonda. What Rhonda. a venue. That, right? is, that is that is Sweet Boy's we home. Ne- we never played there. We had like nah, a few shows. That, we, we were going to do a Christmas show there. It was like a door deal. And I was like, man, I'm not going to take we, these guys out we on Christmas. We couldn't do it. it well, it just didn't, wasn't going to work it out. It didn't work out. But uh, like, there's some legends. That, like Adam Hood plays there mm-hmm. a pretty good bit. And that's awesome. You've played there before? Oh, yeah. That's great. It's a... Uh, I've actually got a little following down in Prattville, so That's it's always awesome. fun yeah. to go down there. Hey, no, I'm actually gonna speaking be. of your following, like every, it seems like every time I get on TikTok, you're on there, like doing live. You are, you, know in, I mean? you are in the algorithm. I'm there. It's cool. I'm, I'm how, balls you are deep TikTok. in it. How has, how has TikTok changed your? Because you're in, you're independent right now, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. So how has TikTok changed your? You know, I guess your your life. You know, like I mean, it's changed everything. Yeah, like it's, right. I. I go out and play these shows, like, and people will come out and say, "Well, I just drove twelve hours to come see you. I follow you on TikTok." Yeah, and it's just like <laughs> I drove from Ohio to Florida, and I'm like, "Damn!" I mean, yeah, and I mean, I don't even I have like three hundred k on there. I mean, I, I know there's a lot of people that have like a ton more, but yeah. even at that number, like, you just see a, a, like an incredible just. Well, that's the thing, like community. Like, I don't know I, how to explain it. That's yeah. I mean, that's the thing is that what his TikTok has done. Everybody wants to you know, get on there and have a viral moment. Like, I mean, I had two songs kind of like really go viral on there and, you know, and I'm grateful for it. But at the same time, I've put out, I don't know what, if we put out what, 13 songs this year or something? Yeah, a fuck ton. A fuck ton. You know, Paul <laughs> stressed out. You know? <laughs> Anxiety. Um, <laughs> but, you know, it's like when we play, when I go to play these shows, you know, it's like I'm looking out in the crowd and people are singing along. Yeah. You know, it's not like they've never heard these songs before. Yeah. And it's like, I, you know, it's like everybody wants to like go viral on TikTok and sign the big record deal and be like the coolest person, you know, at Red Door, at, at, you know, on a Wednesday night. And like, man, you're crushing <laughs> it, you know, like what? But like, fuck that shit, you know, like TikTok is a tool that, you know, I just feel like it's given into indep- independent artists kind of like, I don't know, it's kind of given back to us. To where we like control our own destiny. I mean, I played Damage Control live, and I hadn't even released it yet. Yeah, and people were singing it. Yeah, that's pretty. Just cool. from me posting it on TikTok. Yeah, that's pretty you awesome. Know, who, who needs radio and who needs all that stuff at a certain level? Like you, you, you have your, your but broadcast you, channel. But you said it like you can just build that's your awesome. community on there. Yeah, you know, because like if you know you post a video and it gets five thousand views, and I mean, it just half. Of, of those people that are like into that song, you know? And you look at it like you compare it like, oh, 5,000, that sucks. Like that's so yeah. low, but that's still 5,000 people's ears on your shit. You know yeah. what I mean? It's that's just more, like. That's more than you would get on a Facebook post. Think of 5,000 people if everybody like, in, in your a room, hometown you know? shared it. You yeah. know what I mean? Because nobody gives a fuck, exactly. you know, <laughs> like in your hometown, exactly. you know? Oh, I got a good story to tell about that. Anyway, I'm feeling a little petty tonight. So (laughs) let's go. That's what we need. We have a drink. We need need, need a viral moment on this podcast. Well, let's go. I just love it because recently there was this girl um, that hit me up. She's been hitting me up on Facebook and Instagram DMs and all that stuff, and saying, "Oh, like I want to get your autograph. I want to get VIP meet and greets for your next time you're in Kentucky." Like. Can I come to your house and like hang out with you next time you're home? Like she's from my hometown. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I don't know if you remember this, but one time you told everybody in school that you wanted to beat my ass. And then you told everybody that you wanted to kill me. Oh, nice. That ain't it. But she didn't want to smoke. Like yeah. she obviously was just yeah. like running I her mouth. Fight you. And uh, <laughs> smart. <Yeah. laughs> and so I was just like, um, it was a lot of shit. I, I'm not going to say too much because she probably definitely knows I'm talking about her at this point. But yeah. it's just like, um, 
you know, the people that, you know, you should really watch who you're, you're really not nice to, like in high school, you know what I mean? It's just like, and then now they're hitting you up like, oh, can I please get tickets to the show? Can you get me on the list? Hey, Nashville's that way too. Nashville's very much that way. That's why I like going to Broadway because I'm like, I might see a few like tourists or whatever that like know who I am, you know, and I like take a picture with them or like whatever. But like when you go to Midtown, it's like, hey, let's rat sometime. It's oh, like, it's the worst. I just want to go to fucking Broadway and like have a good time, you know? Exactly. And that's why I it's, love it. It's that way. But it's like, where were you when I was moved here, you know, three years ago? And on my mattress. mattress was on the floor, you know? Like, fuck you, man. Dude, I, like people were, uh, my high school experience was not like horrible, but I was on American Idol when I was in high school. Oh, wow. And when I was 15 years old. I didn't know that. And I got so much hate. Like, you remember Topics? Do y'all remember Topics, the website? No. I remember Yik Yak was the one. Yik Yak was the This was before Yik Yak. So, t- so Topics is like anonymous kind <laughs> of thing. Topics is local. like kind of Reddit now, I guess. Um, but you could type in like Bingville, Kentucky Topics, which is where I'm from. And I would have just like pages of shit talk about me like saying, oh, she's too fat. She sucks. I heard her mom blowed Steven Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> Did your mom blow Steven Tyler? I, do I look like I'd be sitting right here right now if my mom blowed Steven Tyler? Come on. Yeah. I mean, so like. So it's just like, it's just like shit like that that gets me. Now did they're you say like. Blowed, blowed, blowed or blue? Blue? Blown? Bl- I don't know. Blown? Suck, she suck blew. his dick is what we're talking about here, suck right? Suck job. Okay, cool. Just, just making sure I understand. I got to see that. Oh, well, what's his name? Bonner's getting up and leaving. He's too Catholic like, for this. What's wrong with that? You know, what kind What kind of insult is that? Like, it's just like hell that yeah, shit. my mom sucked him off. It's those same people <laughs> yeah. that's like in my DMs now and like sharing my stuff. So proud of you, hometown girl. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah so stupid. Yeah, that, that does suck. Yeah, it's crazy. Literally. Yeah, somebody <laughs> sucked. Yeah, somebody <laughs> sucked something. <laughs> you an Aerosmith fan? No. You know, he told me that he just didn't get country music when I was on the show. Really? And then he released a country album. And I was like, this <laughs> motherfucker. through the fire. I'm kind of over it, honestly, but yeah, whatever. Uh, who was on, uh, who won it that year that you were on it? Scotty McCreary. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh shit! So this is way back. Lauren Elena. Lauren I Elena. met her. Trey celebrity crush. <laughs> yep. Yeah, that's my celebrity crush. Really? <laughs> but like, not really. Like, I, I know her dad and stuff. But like, I got, I met her again at the Opry. I ran into her at the Opry. I was hanging out with Dylan Carmichael up there. Oh, I love Dylan. Yeah, he's Kentucky. great. He's a good dude, right? Yeah, in Kentucky. And it's yeah, yeah. I don't know. She's just like I feel like she's the same girl that she was like back then. You know yeah. what I mean? Like she's still. Yeah, she seems. Yeah. I've never met her. I mean, I met her back then, but I've she's not met her recently. Energy. She seems like yeah. authentic. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. High energy. That's cool. I didn't know you were on American Idol. How long? Did you, how yeah. far did you go on it? I got to Hollywood. I was like top three hundred. Oh yeah. Yeah. So. What was that experience like? It was Kentucky. Fifteen-year-old Kentucky girl going to Hollywood. Yeah, it was. And you I had to like pay for your own travel and all that stuff. No, actually, right? they um they paid for me and my mom because I was a minor, oh, so yeah. I couldn't go out there by myself. So that meant I got my own hotel room and everything, which was nice. Yeah, uh, but it was crazy. Like it's obviously you know it's nothing like it looks on TV. Yeah, my friend Nolan was on The Voice, and um, I got to go to like the one of the shows and like watch them like film it and everything mm-hmm. in the studio oh you got to be in the audience yeah i got to that's be in cool. the audience i mean it was cool but it wasn't cool because like they're like all right now stand up and jeer and clap again sit back down and clap louder right, i mean let's, louder let's, let's do that again you know i got my golden ticket the first time and they made me come out that door it was a double door and ryan seacrest you know was on the other side yeah they made me come out that door i'd say 10 times and they're like you need to be more excited you need to cry you need yeah. to do this i was yeah. like what I went to the uh, the CMT Awards when Priscilla played, like, I guess, what, last year? And, uh, I mean, I was like, man, if I didn't love you, Priscilla, I, I would, <laughs> I would, you know, like, I wouldn't just do this voluntarily, you know? It was the same kind of stage It was thing. the same kind of thing. Like, they gave us these, like, armbands to, like, hold up in the air, like, when somebody was playing. And, like, we had to hold our arms up a long time. Like, that seems like nothing. But if you do that for, like. Bro, I would have yeah. gotten taller if I would have been there. For a while, it doesn't look good. And it's also <laughs> bad. It's worse because when I was on it, Owsley County was the poorest county in the whole nation that year. And so they wanted me you to act. Won. They wanted me should to act have. like I didn't have no shoes. Like I was just oh, like. That was not the case, Tim. I yeah. mean, 
I'm not saying like I grew up rich or anything, but it, it like they wanted me to act like I had damn dirt floors. Like yeah. it was just I was, and I just was like, no, I can't. We well, like can't my do accent's all this. not enough or what? <laughs> yeah, you know, like, <laughs> like damn. J Lo you know? made me clog before I sang. Oh really? During my audition. And I was so out of breath. I was like, <sighs> what song did you sing? Um, Gunpowder and Lead. Oh, nice. Yep. That was nice. my. And then I sung. You had to do like a million before you even got to Celebrity Judges. I yeah. sung like Sweet Child of Mine, Leave the Pieces. What's that Bonnie Raitt song? I can't make yep. you love me. That one was another one I sang. So, yeah. What, so, what, so what, <laughs> I guess I'm. What, what were your musical influences growing up? Did you love like the women's ninety country? Man, that's what I grew up on. Obviously, I'm a big Hank fan. Ever since I could talk, I started singing collage. I have a collage tattoo, so I started singing collage like before I could even talk. So that's the story my mom always tells when people ask if I've always been into music. Everybody knows that you never want to listen to Hank live. You know, well, like the like the recording. I, I actually got to go to a concert not too long ago, and I was like, he played all his well, he's major hits. Sober now, but like, he played all. Well, this was about four or five years ago. He played all his major hits in one conglomerate that lasted about one minute, and yeah. I was like, and he like changes the words and okay. just like fumbles through it. You know, I was like, I never want to do this again. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We were all sober. Uh, it was like during COVID. It's like it's like when I knew who Dawson Edwards was, but like we hadn't hung out or anything. We were over at uh, Nick Kane's house and. We were like, play feeling better. And it's like, you know, <laughs> it's my favorite Hank song. It's like, you got to like really know, you know, Hank to like know that song, you know, because it's like a later song. And anyways, I was like, we were like, play feeling better. And Nick had never heard it. And he was like, y'all want to like the live version? And at the same time, me and Dawson Edwards were like, no. <laughs> I just, I just see Dawson. Not. And I was like, we're friends. You know, <laughs> I just see Dawson every, I've seen Dawson more times than I can count just drunk screaming feeling better yeah. yeah when i used when i was dd when i first met dawson was, i mean not drinking try not drinking you end up driving DDing for a lot of friends you know and i dd'd for dawson so many times and that t- speed of that period of 2020 and he'd be like bro play me some hank and i'd be like what song he's like you know what song and he'd play i'd play feeling better and he'd be belting it out in the shotgun seat at the mcdonald's drive through yeah i mean you can just like <laughs> i th- feel like his that checks out that is dawson like if team. you want to just feel good you just put on hank you know what i mean anytime like, you just put if it you want to feel good if you want to feel bad yeah yeah i think I it's appropriate for any time i love his cover of come and go blues yeah nope Mm-mm. it's on like the whiskey benton hell band oh really album record i think that's my favorite one i, I might have heard it then it's like a it's a uh almond brothers song but it's cool it's just him and the acoustic guitar it's great um, What's this food we got right here? The Bean Boozled. Do you want to play Bean Boozled or would you Fuck rather not? That. Do you know what that is? Bonner, I want, I want to see you do, do it. You know what Did Bean I Boozled die? is? That's is no that way that's in. Come on, let's do it. Let's no do shot it. shot that's oh, in my God. macros. All right, we're going to go. Uh, <laughs> what the hell? No let's shot that's it. in my macros. Hey, get us some cups, McElwain, so we don't have to. What is Bean Boozled? I've never even played this. This is It's a jelly belly game. Some deep, deep southern church shit right here. you got to go first. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. I have no dignity. Send it. Yeah, just pull the pull the little spinner out. Flick the thing. What'd you get? Like the thing. Like right, the so bean. Toasted- <laughs> Ele- elevate that same comment. Flick the bean. <laughs> Flick the bean. It's going to be toasted marshmallow or um, or stink bug. Which one's which? Oh, God. You don't know. You just going to. No, but like, what color is it? I'm looking for it. Hold on. Give me a damn second. Don't there. finger in all the beans. <laughs> My fingers are clean. <laughs> don't be fingering all the beans. <laughs> uh, just like, this is the one. <laughs> This is it. Oh, right damn here. cigarettes. Is this it? <laughs> yeah. All right, Bonner. It's kind of brown. It uh, got brown poop splotches. It's going to be marshmallow. No, you gotta put oh, it put it all the way in there. You got to put it all the way in. Oh, I'll play, Trey. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> I'll play, Trey. Are you going to swallow it? What? Yeah, I'll, you I'll, I'll, I'll fucking eat the thing. Play? Yeah, I'll play. No, we all got to play. Yeah, you're Taylor, in. you're in, Taylor. Yeah, Taylor. We'll get you, you got whiskey to you wash it down. You got whiskey to wash it down with. Got to chomp extra hard for the ASMR. Why do you keep smoking? It landed on the same one. Let bro, let, yeah. Let bro, All right, this is either toothpaste or or oh, that blue. Sucks. That's not bad. All I right, like toothpaste. Mac yeah. Wayne's had all the. I'll had drink all the, toothpaste. Had all the beans. Dude, I played this with Trace all right. one time. This is uh, <laughs> this is <laughs> so this is strawberry banana smoothie or dead fish. Oh God! <laughs> Fuck yeah, I would eat a dead fish. <laughs> oh, he got oh, dead fish no. guaranteed. No, he got the smoothie. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hell no. Hell no. Yeah. It takes that's a second a to kick in. That's a clip. That's a clip. If you want to play, that's a clip. Not, y'all didn't get that on the last episode at all. I thought the conversation was going great. Why do we have to do this? That was your right, idea. Taylor, Taylor, what do you got? Pomegranate or an old band aid? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, what the hell? All right, well, which color is it? Well, I can't really tell. Is it just these? What do you? What do you? What do you do? Oh, these red ones. I got this shit stuck in my teeth. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. Rest, that's, that's a red one. That's oh, it gets stuck in your teeth. <laughs> mm, pomegranate. Oh, <laughs> nice. all right. Got a good for one. the guest. Come on, give it a good flick. Um, flick the bean. Uh, I got the same one as Trey. The Oh, keep, keep, going. keep going. Keep uh, going. How do you feel like it? You just, just kind of flick. Just pick some nasty, bro. Um, <laughs> no, that's a stick, but I want to get one that's not fucking. What is this? Good dog Cappuccino food. or liver and onions. Oh, oh no, nice. that sounds pretty good. What is it? The brown one. <laughs> <laughs> Put some ketchup and hot All sauce, right. dude. Ugh, that's liver and onions. <laughs> but honestly, they're like, Oof. are you going to keep chewing it? <laughs> yeah, well, I'm going to eat the whole thing. I'm Bonner, ate, Bonner ate the whole thing, too. I don't think hey, I'm like overly really sensitive because we had that pickle. Uh, we had that pickle. Uh, Dude, the pickle cotton candy is nothing. It's pretty Why good. Why do people yeah, play this? This is horrible. That's funny. <laughs> We're going around again or is that that's it? That's great. No, no, I'm not, I'm not doing <laughs> that again. We're good. We did it. Ugh. That's a segment, baby. That's a segment. Did I get um, the only good one? I think yeah, so. Yeah. You lucked yeah. out. We didn't plan that either. I was hoping I had cappuccino. Yeah. So, so your musical influences. You love Hank. <laughs> We're back on that. We're back on. But where does the rock? Where does the rock come in? When did you start listening to rock? Oh, I, so that's kind of the other thing. My mom was always a big ACDC fan. Oh yeah. And so she would go to like all the concerts and stuff. She went to the ACDC concert when she was pregnant with me, actually. Oh wow. And so I kind of grew up on all that and just Did like she all suck those. Any of them? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> mom, hey, you're watching this. Young. What's up, Jenny? Lift, lifting up the kilt for Angus Young. <laughs> I mean, who could blame her? Yeah, yeah, I mean, whatever. If you suck off somebody like that's like a, an icon, like Trey I mean, Lewis. You know? <laughs> I mean that's a that's a cool thing to say, you know. Like, <laughs> fuck yeah! When I was twenty, I lived my life, you know. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. No, no, absolutely at all. not. And back it's kind then, of a flex, actually. And, and back then, there were no phones and there was no internet. No or proof. Anyway, no proof. It was all the good old days. There's just kids yeah. telling everybody. Just yeah. kids, babies making yeah, babies. I mean, that yeah, bean was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> it's stuck in your teeth. Yeah, it? it tastes like it's gum. awful. I think I got it's worse gum. Than, worse than chicken gizzards. Want a piece of gum? You ain't kissing no critters tonight. No, I will. <laughs> I'll find find the nice, nice redneck one like hey. you, McElwain, and tell her I got livers in my teeth. She'll be like, ooh, I know livers. Wait, do you want some gum or not? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm going to be a man and just deal with it. It's part of That's the bit. I'm going to deal with it. All right. So, my favorite song of yours is. Um, Bono, give me the gum. Right. Good time, girl. <laughs> Oh, really? Yeah, that's my favorite. So that was kind of the first one that took off on TikTok for me. Yeah, um, I know, I know. I, <clears throat> I posted it, um, not really thinking anything of it. I was just, you know, we were all just bored as, bored as shit, you know, in 2020. And so I'd, I'd written that, and then um, everyone was like, oh, my God, release it. Like, And I did, and that one actually has been one of my biggest songs. Like, it charted pretty decently high on yeah. the country charts and everything. So a lot of people, like, that's their favorite one, too. So Yeah, I love that song. Thank um, you. Who'd you write that one with? Well, I wrote the whole thing myself. And then nice. Chad Warrix of Halfway to Hazard, um, I went in to record it. And he was like, I really think we should rework some of this. This is so. And then he he kind of come in and, and rewrote the bridge with me. So mm -hmm. he's also a writer on it. Um, but yeah, just actually, it was funny because I was sitting, I remember at doghouse with priscilla and Kristen, and priscilla's like hey have you talked to um so and so yeah. drop names but yeah. i was like <clears throat> no i only see him in the dark like um and she's like you should write that down i was like yeah okay i'll write that down and then said something else and good time girl just kind of came out of it and i was just kind of yeah went with it from there so that's kind of how the whole thing came about yeah you're not as good time girl anymore yeah right? yeah. yeah nope that's awesome <laughs> Man, I've written songs like not like kind of like that about like whatever situation, but I always go back on it. And like if the song's like like I wrote single again, you know, and then we've gotten back together about seven times, you know, <laughs> single so again, like, again, 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 again. Well, it's yeah. like well, it's like we broke or like I wrote the song and then we broke up the day after, and then I, like right before Christmas last year, I put it on the internet and it was like blowing up. And while it was kind of like. 
blowing up and people are using the sound me and that girl were trying to like work things out you know <laughs> and then like i don't know i mean i put out the song it went number one on itunes and then you know and then we're like back together like full on <laughs> so you're not committed you to know? the bit of single again and then it, yeah and then it and then we broke up and then it was like i'll single again again and then, <laughs> and then how about we don't and, and then, then it just, came, don't over. Over. came over <laughs> pretty much every song the rest of the year so, yeah hey at that point he I was committed decided to this, that but... i'm not gonna write any more songs about like my ex or like um even though i still do but i don't know <laughs> I'm, I'm, just, I'm just not gonna like I'm just going to write songs about the girl that I'm going to meet. I don't know. I've never sense. written a love song. Really? No, I don't have one love song. I've been on a heater here lately. Dude, I, I don't know. I just, I feel so, ugh. I don't know. Yeah, I feel like for girls, that's kind of like not a, you know what I mean? I don't know. I just like, I can't get in that headspace. One of the that good I'm ones. Like, that was a good song. One of the, the good ones. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's a great song, but. I'm trying to think of other like girl love songs. I just I have a hard time. Like I love to write party songs. Like those girls putting out a ton of them right now, but they're not like catch. That's my thing though. Is like it seems like it's it's very forced. Like there's not as much authenticity Mm -hmm. from a love song coming from a female. Yeah, party songs are fun because people want to and breakup songs because people need something to listen to when they're going through shit. Yeah, I mean, if I'm not like writing songs about like fishing, women, or uh, what's the other thing? Uh, like pa- patriotic stuff. I don't really have anything else to talk about. You know, it's like because I don't drink. It's like you know. Oh, I guess that's true. I never thought about sobri- that. Well, you got sobriety. Yeah, but I mean, nobody wants to hear no sappy shit about being fifteen years sober. I mean, maybe some people, but like not the not really at the bar. Nobody wants yeah. to party to that. Okay, yeah, you know what I mean? It's like that, yeah. you know, like halfway through the set, I do this thing where I talk about sobriety, but like. You know, and, I, and I'll always do that as long as I live, you know, but like, it's like a, you know, good five minutes. And then after that, I don't talk about it anymore. I'm like, all right, if if you, you aren't into that, you know, y'all get drunk. Let's have a good time. You know, it's like yeah. always this weird like segue. But I mean, I feel like I do a good job of like doing that. But um, I don't know, you know. It's weird. I mean, I don't know. I just, I always tend to gravitate toward those like heavier songs. People want to have a good time. You know what I mean? And I love playing live. So that's my whole thing. Like I write for my live Live performances. And if like, if I'm, it's just something that's so slow and draggy. I'm just like, I don't want to play this on stage. Like this is. But like, so I have this uh, song that I put out this year. It's about my mom. It's called Whatever She Sees in Me. And, um. I don't know. There's nothing better than like, because I, I, when I play that, it's like stripped down acoustic. You know, there's nothing better than like playing that song and looking out into the crowd and seeing like a six foot five grown man like <laughs> crying his eyes out. And then right after that, I'm like, here's a song I wrote about fucking my ex. And then the next <laughs> thing you know, you look out and that same dude's like laughing and like drinking a beer, you know? And that's that. a, like, that's a beautiful thing about playing live music right. is like we get that hour and a half or however long we're playing to like, take people on a journey of like what our lives are, you know? And I've recently just had people get tattooed my lyrics on. Oh, so yeah, that's, that's like awesome, a big right? thing. I know you probably had that happen, but like, yeah. I just never thought then this girl wanted to tattoo my autograph. I was like, baby, my, my handwriting's horrible. I saw a girl's ass that. one time and she got it tattooed. See? Like, two, two girls' asses. Yeah. And the same yeah. night they were friends and they both went and got it tattooed. Yeah. Greenville, South Carolina, did you, baby. Did you see them? Did you see the finished oh, product? Oh, yeah. I mean, we they had me on Snap. So. <laughs> we, got, we got photos of it, yeah. <laughs> you know. We got them I love in the, that. got them in the SV vault for sure. <laughs> you know? <laughs> <laughs> can't keep nudes on the they camera. St- they still come to the shows too. The <laughs> they still work at the damn venue. They don't even go to the yeah. And, bartenders. and too, that's like, do you ever feel like a sense of pressure from that? You know, well, hell yeah. Because <laughs> it's like, damn, I, I better really make it. You know <laughs> yeah. what I mean? Like, it's like, like people have my lyrics tattooed on their arm, and in ten years, they're gonna be like. What is this? Like, who is this? Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Mama, mama, what's that tattoo? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Some washed up old singer. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, my grandfather, like, before any of this happened, when I was just, you know, playing covers four nights a week and, you know, traveling all over in the SUV, my um, grandfather used to say, well, I guess the good Lord's keeping me alive so he can see me, you know, so he can let me see you get a number one song. And I'm just like, damn, Pappy, I just, I don't know. That's, that's, that's a lot of, you know, pressure. Like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to fulfill that, but I'm going to keep trying, you know. <laughs> But I don't know. I guess it all worked out. Yeah. But uh, hopefully, uh, you know, I just couldn't imagine having somebody's name tattooed on my ass. That's like, you know. I mean, what sh- what are they gonna do when they like? Do they have men? Like, yeah, 
Like, oh, yeah. there's guys that have do tattoos. They, do too. they want to look at it? Well, there's guys that have the, the that have fucking. Yeah, the, but I'm talking the, about these girls' boyfriends or husbands. She's talking about doggy with. style, bro. Oh, doggy style. <laughs> Get with yeah. it, bro. Yeah, doggy style. Um, yeah, you want to see uh, another song, dude's name on what song lyrics? From what song have you seen? There's two people that have um, "You Can't Water Me Down." Oh yeah, yeah. And then another girl that's supposedly the one got my like, There's but a lot of things <laughs> in coming. Yeah. I like that. That one. was the one that really like the yeah, biggest one really on, TikTok on TikTok for TikTok. me. So, yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's there's two people out in the world that I know of that have that. So it's pretty cool. Does it, does it say you can't water me down? Or yeah, it does. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's awesome. That's yeah. great. There's this one girl. She um she's from Maryland and she drives like she drove nine hours to see me the other day. Wow. Um, and she's one of the people that has the water me down tattoo. So. Sure. We had a girl drive Sorry. down to Huntsville. What was it? Two girls. Two girls. And Brill went and hung out with them. Ain't been to a show since. He must have <laughs> let them down. Are you surprised? <laughs> no. Seven, 17 hours from New Hampshire. Yeah. Oh what uh, what what show was this? Side Tracks? This was, side, this was night, one, night one of Side Tracks. Because we did the two nights. And we did Boggin on the Plains. Where the people drove the ATV into the fire at yeah. Auburn. You ever done a mud park? You ever played one of those? Oh, I got into a fight at a mud park. Uh, did so you beat her ass? Let's get the story. I need the play by play. Uh, did you he? beat his ass? And yes, I did. Hell yeah. <laughs> can we get the play by play? Or is it, sure, of it course. Can I get a hell yeah? Mm, so hell I, yeah. I, yeah. I think yeah, fuck I can't you. remember if I was <laughs> opening for Tyler Booth or another band. It was one of the two. And I played there twice. I can't remember which show it was, but um, I was I just played and I was walking through the crowd. Ben was in front of me holding the flashlight, like getting me through because there was only one way in, one way mm-hmm. out. But you had to walk through the crowd which was horrible setup classic mud bug classic um and it was getting wild you know it was getting late and um i went over to get some beer and we were walking back through to the side stage and this guy literally grabs my ass and like squeezes it (laughs) and i and i turn around and this old motherfucker he's like just like slicked his slicked his hand through his hair like that and just tried to act like he didn't do it like you know just trying to be cool yeah I just tore my earphones off doing that. You're um, good. I just went like this, just like, and just like looked the other way. And I was like, buddy, I, I know it was you. Yeah. And then he was just like, whatever. And so I I don't know what happened. I had beer in one hand and I just. He just blacked out. Right hooked him. <laughs> yeah. And then he fell over into an ATV <laughs> and he's just kind of stunned. So I'm still laying into him. He's just like. I think he just don't even know what has just happened. <laughs> then his buddy comes up and is trying to grab me from behind to get me off of him. So I start laying into him. And Ben doesn't even know that all this is going around oh, behind wow. him. He spins around. He's like, whoa, 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 what's going on as I'm beating these two guys? Hell yeah. And uh, security comes over and, like, they, I get back over to side stage. And they come over there and they said, man, uh, he wants to apologize. He thought you were someone else. And I was like. No, he didn't. <laughs> and I said, don't get that motherfucker over here. And uh, they're like, actually, uh, we we're going to ask you, too. Do you want a job with our security team? Because <laughs> he said you hit like a man. <laughs> I was like, that's pretty good. But no, he can't apologize to me. So. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, well uh, just fair warning. Don't ever grab Taylor's ass if you don't want to get your ass beat. Yeah. If you don't yes. want to get hit like that's a man. A, that's an organized mud bog. They actually had security. Most of they the ones did. we've done don't even have security. Where's that mud bog? It was in Mississippi. Oh, nice. Fulton? Fulton had to be. No, it was uh, Leaks, mud, Leaksville? Mud, mud Slingers, Woodland, mud slingers. Woodland, Woodland, Mississippi. Cool. We, got, yeah. we got, we got, we got, we were, we were supposed to play that one. I, I've fun. seen Woodland, Mississippi. We before. took our razor down there when we went and actually stayed the next day and rode and everything. And it was, it's a really well, you cool had the part. Full, you had the full experience. Oh, you, yeah. you guys like camped out and did the full yeah. thing. Well, Y'all were out there with the people. We, we didn't camp. We, they put us up, but yeah, we brought our razor and everything. So your cool. shows that you're doing right now, are y'all in a van or how y'all doing it? Uh, so right now we do some full band stuff and I'll yeah. rent a van if we do full band. Yeah. But right now we're doing a lot of uh, this acoustic duo thing. So yeah. Ben has a little cocktail kit that he plays. Yeah. And then I play guitar and sing and it's really good. We're That's just, awesome. we're out. I just got a, I was in a key of soul and then that piece of shit blew up and then i just got a new car um a rav4 a 2021 rav4 hey, awesome. uh, it's oh yeah i really love Plenty it of room for gear. isn't it nice having Lots a brand new car gosh i've never had like a new car like that i just bought one too and every time i Ain't get in it, i'm just like i can't believe this like, is mine damn, this like is i washed fancy. it fancy <laughs> i got i have a, like one of those uh car wash memberships oh yeah you can go like how many every times a month <clears throat> yeah i went in, i went through twice today because i took a long road <laughs> trip this weekend and uh i like i was out like 
of the car like took a rag and was like wiping it down you know like I it's crazy i mean i like i've always bought my cars just like in cash used like, yeah used like, as paid hell, for. like and then paid for because i you know obviously being a musician you never know if you're gonna make enough money to yeah, make a car, car payment, payment or not yeah um but now i got this one and it's just like I feel like I'm. I don't. I don't even know. It just feels so fancy. I always freak out like you know? somebody's gonna bang their door on. It That's like, the worst part. It's like now I'm scared that I'm gonna like run into something or yeah. like I'm gonna. I don't know. I'm just. So I got a few scratches on mine now, but they say there's two kinds of trucks: ones that don't have scratches and some ones that will have scratches. It's a truck. I mean, yeah. come on. <laughs> yeah. I got black. I shouldn't have got black. I got but black too. It looks badass. I got know, black too. When it's yep. clean. So. I love a black vehicle. Yeah. Um, but anyway, we're in that going on. We drive it everywhere when it's just us two. There's plenty of room. It's awesome. So, so what's your go to Waffle House? We don't Meal. do Waffle House. You don't do Waffle, Waffle House. I've never had it before. You never had Waffle House. I never even tried it. I mean, I I like it, but we don't ever do it on the road. Really? Like, no. We um, I'm a very much Taco Bell person. Yeah. Or it's like Ar- Arby's? I know that's weird. See, Arby's the Arby's meats. They got the meats. <laughs> they got the meats. <laughs> um, Hell yeah, they what, do. What's the highest Taco Bell bill that you've run up on the road? So I can tell you ours is a collective unit. Man, it was I, in Huntsville, Alabama. I Same only weekend eat as that girl. one thing. Like I, I only get one thing. It's two dollars. What do you get? The Chipotle Ranch Grilled Chicken Burrito. Those are pretty good. Just that. You didn't think it, you didn't think it's weird that I've never had Waffle House? Because I totally have. I was just kidding. <laughs> oh, no, because my friend Davis the other day told me he's never had Taco Bell, Wendy's, like any of these fast food restaurants. And I took him to Taco Bell for the first time. Yeah. This boy is 22 years old. Wow. What's he? Un- Un-American. What's Must he? have been super sheltered. He uh, he's, he's he, he lives here. Room. He works at Listening Room. He plays music, and he just moved up here last year. But he's from St. Augustine, and he said, Mama just always cooked at home. And I was like. M- M- Mama said, don't eat the Taco okay. Bell. It'll give you the E. coli. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, I'll be eating Taco Bell like twice a week. Yeah, like, same. I'm going to so, get it after I leave here. We heard a rumor that you uh, like Zen pouches. <laughs> you heard right. Yeah, that's awesome. It keeps me alive, dude. You haven't popped one in yet in the pod, during the pod? No, I usually take them out um, when I'm drinking. And I need to be revived around, you know, 11 or 12 o'clock. Yeah. Just pop one in, you know. Yeah. What uh, flavor do you like? Um, I like the peppermint. The peppermint. Is it the blue? The, that's the blue. The can. light blue? Yeah. Yeah. That's good. We would, Have you had the coffee? Uh, Yeah. That's interesting. The coffee one's a weird taste. The lime's weird. I don't like the lime. Yeah. I like the, um, what's the other one? The, the green one? No, they're not made by Zen. They're made by somebody oh, else. The square ones. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Now, what's, what's it called? Uh, Macaulay. They got like a mango one. Trey likes all the fruity flavors. There's a look at my vape. It's yeah. like it's yeah. hot pink. Oh, I love uh, pineapple straw nana. That's my yeah. favorite. Elf bar. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like he got me into the damn skull yeah, cherry. On, yeah, we're on skull cherry. Now, dude. if I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna straight up do long cut wintergreen. Yeah, of what skull. The, or what? Grizzly, I, I just, grizzly whatever, the welfare bear. You know, I whatever. Just, <laughs> I just can't do the the wintergreen. I just ugh. yeah. I grew up on a on a backer farm. Oh, really? So yeah. On um, what? A tobacco farm? A backer farm. Backer farm. Come on, yes, real line Damn, there's his line, word of the week. Line, linebackers or fucking tobacco. Toebackers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Toe-backers, yeah. Toe-backers. I was surprised he didn't ask what Mosey meant earlier. Mosey on that? over. That's, uh, it's like what you do when you come here after the red door. You mosey on over here. I mosey everywhere. <laughs> you mosey on over, you drunk ass. <laughs> Are you still obsessed with Bucky's or is it kind of died down? I love Bucky's. Yeah. I'm there. I mean, their sandwiches anytime are more expensive. I pass one. It's I'm mainstream as fuck. It's mainstream as fuck. Ten bucks for a brisket sandwich? Yeah, it was like six when I first started Lord, doing it. I'm kind of over it now. It's mainstream now. And they're so crowded. Mm-hmm. They're at, at like they were, you have to. It's like, fight dude, I've been driving for six hours. I gotta pee. If you don't get out of my way, I'm gonna knock your ass over. <laughs> People just in there shopping, You're just walking like for around, home gigs. just kind of like <laughs> they're moseying around. Yeah, moseying around. <laughs> it was cool when they're only in Texas and like select parts of the world. Now they're like yeah. fucking everywhere. Yeah. In Texas and Alabama because yeah. that's all they were in. Well, there's one in Kentucky now. Actually, oh, really? there's, yeah. there's one there's in Tennessee. They're, they're building one in Murfreesboro. Fuck yeah. Murfreesboro. There's that one, one right there in Huntsville that they just I'm here Athens. 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 Athens.
after um, church. I don't prefer it. Bucky's on a Sunday <laughs> after church in the deep south with some of my favorite fucking people watching in the world. You I love it. You see all the cookie you monster see, pajamas. You see dudes and girls in camo because they just got, they're all pissed off they didn't get a deer. You see little kids running around like they're going, like they're all dressed up because their bunch parents of, dressed bunch them of up. parents going, no, I'll put that up. No, we ain't put, getting it. No, we ain't getting that. We ain't getting that. We ain't getting all that. We ain't getting that. And then you got like the old guy just That's sitting That's cool, there. son. We ain't getting it. I'm surprised they don't have the motorized wheelchairs like Walmart. Oh. That's the next thing they're going to get. They will have motorized wheelchairs in there. For It'd them. be like a bumper cars in there. <laughs> just like. Great. <laughs> It's hot as hell in there anyways. <laughs> get out my way. Roll tide. Get out my way. <laughs> I bought some like fishing shirts and stuff in there before. So they I like have the a merch. Good selection. It is cool. They have a lot of shit in there. I recently got an ornament for my tree. It's pretty cool. Do you get festive? Do you get as festive as that leg lamp right there? I ain't never been festive before, but my mom, we bought a house this year and she's like, you need a real good tree. She sent me to my doorstep a pre-lit seven and a half foot Christmas tree and I put it up and decorated it. So. And I do have Bucky stockings hanging up too. Right. By the way, <laughs> all right. I got a Bob Ross stocking. Uh, yeah, Ross? but that's random. Hop, happy trees. Why would you even have a? Where did you even get a Bob Ross stocking? Uh, Craigslist. Bucky's. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Not Bucky's. <laughs> I didn't even know Bob Ross had his line of stockings. Oh, he's been dead for years. Well, but yeah, they're, they're taking good care of his estate. I mean, there's a channel that comes on TV that only plays Bob Ross oh, 24 I, hours trust, a day. Trust me, I know. Yeah, I, I watch it a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes when I'm really like want to go to sleep or maybe I smoke well, a little that, bit. That, you know? that late night indica bong rip? Yeah. Oh, for sure. <laughs> Happy trees. So back to the music. Um, <laughs> oh, right. We're here to talk about that. <laughs> so so you put out the, so you put out a song with the Broadway Broads? I didn't uh -huh. even know about that. Oh, yeah. I'm going to go check that out. It's called Happy Breakup to You. Oh, nice. Yeah. That sounds like my kind of song. Yeah, it's a cool song. I mean, it's just fun and... We did a music video for it, too. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's on YouTube if y'all feel like searching the crevices of the internet. Yeah. Hey, I'm it's there. I don't have access to any of those accounts or anything anymore, but um, it's still on there as far That's as I great. know. I'll have to go check that <laughs> out. So uh, you did another feature this year, right, with... Uh, Mason Horn. Mason and Horn. And I think he was on... Was he on this podcast? He was on the yeah, okay. Same studio, but yeah. Old yeah, Mason. that's my boy right there. If you ever start a podcast and need a place to do it, this place is we just, rent this place out. Oh, so, yeah. podcast land. I like yeah, it. Yeah, podcast land. I don't think I don't. I don't really got that much to talk about. I don't know. I feel like I would not be good at a podcast. Oh, if you, you I've done great today. <laughs> I think you get a few drinks and you're you're feeling petty, and you get you get somebody on. You call it like feeling petty or something. Yeah, yeah. we were gonna kick uh, McAway yeah, off that. and just make you the next just, next host. Yeah, we were just gonna put you on. We'll put <laughs> you over called, there. Those, uh, those beans suck. So how was how was the experience of recording with him? He's like a young guy, right? Yeah, man. We actually uh, met through TikTok. And, yeah, um, and y'all y'all done some like collab videos together and yeah stuff. he was looking for someone to do this song with and and he saw me on tiktok and they his team hit me up and they're like would you be interested i was like well send the song over you know yeah. let me hear it and obviously like i'd already known i think i knew lex before which was his manager mm -hmm. lex lipsitz and natalia his wife was actually a co-writer on the song so anyway sent over the song and i was like absolutely hell yeah, yeah. i'll do this song i love it so we recorded it and then he you know he lives in south carolina but he would come up to Nashville like a couple times a month and we'd just hang out, write songs and um, might have a song that me and him wrote coming out on my album. So Let's go. It's pretty cool. That was my next question. But yeah, we, we did a lot of content together and just we love hanging out and just jamming and, you know, he's a good little kid. Yeah. I say kid because he's he, he is a boy. He's, yeah. he's a kid. Yeah. He's, he's a boy. He's going to be. 21 this month. Hey, oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, he's actually he's be able to come up here and get drunk legally. <laughs> next weekend, I think, is his birthday. Is it really? Is it the 17th? I think it's the 17th. So it's oh that's shit. when Burrell's Christmas party is. Oh shit! So we got to get him fucking. <laughs> we got to yeah. I guess I got to come out that party, night and party. Drinks. Yeah, party, <laughs> dude. Yeah, I've been saying I wouldn't, to him, I want to see his twenty. Let's make birthday. sure he throws up. You'll be at a ball. wedding. Oh, that will be. Yeah, he'll he'll get after it. Yeah, I fine. I don't want to be present. Who do, you, I don't who think. do you think has the heavier country accent? You or Mason Horn? Man, I don't know because Mason's got like a different kind of accent. Like it's like a. <laughs> Especially when he gets started drinking. Yeah, I don't know. Like it's like a more of a South Carolina. Like you know, you can tell the difference there. It's like his is like, I don't know. It's like I can just hear him talking in my head right now. Can't you? Yes. Can't you just hear him? I don't know. I don't know. It's probably a tie. Yeah, he's very slow. Yeah, his is more like. A, I feel like yours is country. His is more red. Yeah, you I know? think that's a good way to explain it because you know you can tell a difference in the red. you know. Yeah. Like I try always try to tell people like I'm from Alabama, but I can like and Ella's from Alabama, but Ella grew up like in the middle of nowhere. You know, I kind of grew up Just more in the city. 
you know yeah when i tell people i'm kind of from the city they're just like they're, they're like no way you know yeah ella definitely is not yeah she's from, from the city <laughs> she's from middle of nowhere and i got um, to see her open for randy at the at the ryman oh yeah randy that's Housen. cool it right? was such she's a good crushing show it right yeah now. she's killing she's, it it's awesome she's always like it's just crazy to I mean, really, all of us, you know, to watch how much we've grown since we've kind of all, like, known each other, you know. Um, but, like, really her, because we've lived together ever since she moved to town. We're about to get our third house together. I didn't know that. Which is crazy, because, like, this time it's just going to be just me and her, which is weird, because, like, <laughs> I don't... We well, don't, you're never home. Well, we don't know how it works, but it just works, you know. And she's, like, she's, like, one of my... She's one of my best friends. Like, yeah. she's always, like... I don't know. I've always felt like I've had friends throughout my life, you know, and eventually they just like go off and do things. But mm -hmm. Ella's like always consistently showed up for me, yeah. you know, and she's just like a loyal friend. But like just to watch her like, you know, from when she first moved here until, you know, until now, like, I mean, I, she didn't even really didn't even know how to write a song when she first got here. And now mm -hmm. she's better than me. I mean, I'll just tell you <laughs> hands down. I mean, she's great. Like she's crushing it. And just, I love the, uh, the mama. What's it called? Hey, hey mama. Hey, mama. Yeah. Yeah. I really like that it. a lot. Yeah. yeah. And, um, you know, she just signed her deal with Sony and, you know, hopefully we'll hear her on the radio waves one day. Is, is it but, pub or is it? Uh, she's, label? well, she's pub, but she also signed a record. Oh, deal. I didn't know that. Yeah. Hell yeah. So I'm like, I don't know. I just think one day, like, I have this dream that I'm going to walk into love while we're on the road and, like, I hear my friend's songs on yeah. the radio. That's a good feeling, like, man. I heard Lainey's, uh, when, uh, what was her first song that went number one? Heart Like a Truck? No, no, that's what's on the radio. Things now. a Man Ought to Know. Things a Man Ought to Know. I mean, I'll never forget the first time, like, me and Lainey aren't, well, we have, we're friends, but we're not, like... You know, she's before me. She's, like, the class before me. Right. You know? But, like, when I first time I ever walked into, you know, loves and heard her song on the radio. Or even, like, hearing, like, um, just about over mm -hmm. you, you know, while you're taking a shit on a warm, warm <laughs> love toilet seat. You know, it's like, this is pretty cool, you Nothing know? Nothing like it. You know? I hate loves. <laughs> the bathrooms are just, like, there's always. That's where Bucky still gets. Yeah. No matter, at the end of the day, as much as we hate how commercial <laughs> Bucky's is, how mainstream, how they might be too it's mainstream for out. you, they have the best bathrooms They've in the world. They've got a good shitter. Yeah, Bucky's makes a great shit. And, and, but it's like there's enough in there. Like when you walk into like a Loves, there's only like four or five, and they're always full. And there's like toilet paper on the you dirty know. truckers. It's like you're sitting there like frantically waiting to like and just trying <laughs> not gotta, to shit your I've, pants. You're prairie dogging. Like, yeah, I gotta to go, go in the women's. Sitting on a toilet seat that somebody just got off. Like, of. I gotta that go is the, the women's. Uh, yeah. Lukewarm. A warm toilet. There's nothing nicer than a warm toilet this, seat. I'll never forget this one time. <laughs> I went into a flying J and like. Oh, Dude, you never Flying J is the worst. Flying the J is what we yeah. call it. Flying the J. So, <laughs> I got, <laughs> no, a flying the J with a Denny's attached is the absolute oh worst. Yeah. So it's I a go, fever dream. I yeah. go into this flying J. I don't know. We were probably like somewhere in the Midwest, and I was like, man. I mean, like it was like nine one one, like. I was about to shit down my leg. Like, I had to go. That's I walk in the men's bathroom. Every single shooter is full. And I was like, I'm not. I'm one of these person that will easily just go to the women's bathroom. I was like, I'm going to go to the women's bathroom. And I walked in, and I sat down, and I made it. I didn't shit my pants. <laughs> well, I'm sitting there. There's nobody in there. And then all of a sudden, I just hear this, like, rustle, like, this woman walks into the bathrooms like oh, 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 you know, and like I get it, women shit, but it's not something you want to think about, you know. She sits Ugh. down and it's just like, <laughs> and she's like the whole time, but like, oh, oh. it's the worst when they're grunting and she like they're fighting demons in there. <laughs> Honestly, they you are know, fighting like, demons, like doing the breathing after, fighting, and then fighting. I'm just like, I gotta get out of here. But he was at an Iowa flying J, like two o'clock <laughs> in the morning. I think I remember when that happened because yeah. he, he would call me when I'm because I'm usually driving if we're not like and uh, if we don't have a driver. He's like, bro, I got I got shit. Pull over, or he'll text me real quick and I'll see it. But then everyone else will be sleeping. <laughs> you see Trey like he's shooting out of a can. And just yeah. he won't run. He'll speed walk. He'll speed walk. I don't walk. have a gobbler anymore. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta go. You gotta, oh, you gotta go. go. Oh, yeah, you gotta pull the plug. Yeah. You gotta go. Yeah. <laughs> um, That's great. So, um, <laughs> tell me about this album. 
Are you pumped about it? Do you, do you have yeah. some of the songs picked That's out? Some of the songs, I'm pretty sure, that we're down for. But we're still writing a ton. We're actually doing a retreat. Me, Utley, and Nicole. We're calling mm-hmm. it a ret- We're doing an in-town retreat. Yeah. Um, but we're just going to hold up for like four days in January. That's the way to do it. And just n- knock some stuff out. We're going to have some people in, um, you know, to, to kind of be a buffer. But we work really well together. So we're just going to kind of sit down and bang them out. For like four days and then see what else we get we've already got a few but um yeah i'm pumped I hopefully i don't want to give a timeline but like my goal would be by the summer to have you know yeah maybe put out a few out. singles before yeah then. we're going to yeah. drop some singles periodically i think we're going to do another one here in a couple weeks so that's awesome yeah um where do these people find you at other than um it's real easy i keep it simple yeah. it's taylor austin die everywhere d-y-e die with a y not with an i um, Spotify, <laughs> iTunes. She ain't dead yet. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm damn close, but yeah. not yet. Um, yeah, it's Snapchat. Please don't send me any dick pics. Um, Facebook, Instagram, t- TikTok, everywhere. Taylor Austin Yeah. Yeah. So what's your tour, what's your touring look like next year? It's looking really good so far. Um, I've got a few big festivals that I'm about to confirm this coming week. Yeah. Um, some pretty big shows, like for me, of course. Um, so I'm really looking forward to it. But we kick back in in January. We're heading down to, um, like I said, we're going to Alabama. We're going to Florida. We'll be in Louisiana that first week of January. So Awesome. Did I say Florida? Yeah. Be in Florida, too. So, um, and all, are all your uh, tour dates on your website? Yep. TaylorAustinDie.com. Cool. Y'all go to our website. Go see our show. Come um, on out. And, uh, we'll drink some. Bullet. And drink some Bullet. And, Is um, this Bullet? Yeah, it's yeah, bullet. bullet. Go uh, stream her music. Go share her music. And, uh, and uh, yeah. yeah. Thank you for coming on the podcast Well, today. thank y'all for having me and sharing your bourbon with me. Yeah, of course. Thank y'all for watching episode... 24. 24 of the DM Monday podcast. Please rate and subscribe. And uh, we love y'all. We'll see y'all next time. Give a holler to that blue collar boy out in the holler. Let him ride you out the city around the farm Do some fishing in the dark Get you digging out the stars a little closer out here No, if you need a little change of view You want to see how the down home looks on you Light it up, he'll be gone Just give a country boy a call If you want to see what you hear in them country songs Want to watch a harvest moon hang all night long If you want to stick them high in the rear view He's got a cross hanging from the middle one All you gotta do Just give a holler To that blue collar boy out in the holler Let him ride you out the city Round the farm Do some fishing in the dark Get you digging How the stars a little closer out